Do you guys like video games? Cause I got them. I'm crazy for video games. Let's get crazy with this song. Oh my god, it's so crazy. I can't handle it. Yeah, we got green screen technology now. Okay? Green screen. Get sensible, okay? Let's not get crazy. Let's not get carried away. I know I'm at a techno dance party. I know it's not a... Alright, a 16-bit techno dance party. Alright, it's not a big deal, okay? Everyone, this is what we listen to at this club. Uh, anyone in the chat? Can you name the game? Stable Tables is in the Twitch chat. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. We got some green stick technology. We got some oranges. Eh, we got some water. Um, the sponsor of today's show is Sprite Zero, which, um, doesn't show up when you have a, a green screen. This time it's ice cold. I didn't mess around. Sprite, hit me up! Alright, we're back. You know, it doesn't matter how many times I've done this. It's always weird. Starting up is weird. Hey, live streaming is weird. Alright, don't give me a hard time about it. I'm turning these tunes down a bit. Because they're making me anxious. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Guys, what the hell am I doing here? Alright, hey. So, uh, we're on July. We're all the way to July. We started on January. Now we're at July. 1995 was a hell of a year. We're almost covering the entire year. Uh, we're about halfway through. I guess that's, that's not, that's not quite what I just said. Good tunes abound. We're listening to Galaxy. Oh no, sorry. Right now is Vapor Trail. That's a hell of a track. Um, yeah, quite a track, Vapor Trail. All right, so who remembers 1995? Who remembers July 1995? Okay, it's not necessarily about remembering if you ha if you were alive then. I want to actually regale you with a little bit of 1995 as a fable. The Fable of 1995, so you didn't have to live it. I will live it for you. In 1995... Wait, this might be better with... Echo. Go, 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 go. In 1995... The movie, the movie Species, Species came, came out. out. No, no, no. And we and saw, saw Natasha Henstridge's boobs, boobs about, about six about times. Nine, 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 nine. And it was and good. Good, 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 good. That was a good time for movies. movies. Kudos to you, Natasha Henstridge. You are a Canadian icon. Those are Canada's boobs. Um, that was back in the day when actresses would show breasts in a movie. You got it, right? The whole movie was centered around her breasts. And it's not a bad movie. Actually, I haven't seen it since I was about 13, so maybe it is a bad movie. I remember I saw Species 2 in the theater. So I must have been old enough at that time to see it by myself with my friends. And I remember as we were walking out, uh, two women who were there, I guess, to see Species 2 walked out. And as they're walking out of the door, they yelled out loud, Species 2 sucked! I remember thinking, I... Did it? I know, I don't think Natasha Henstridge got as naked in the second one. Or maybe at all. You know, she paid her dues, alright? Species paid your dues. Alright, next. On to the next one. Of course. In 1995, July 1995, Under Siege 2 came out. And Steven Seagal showed us how cool an action movie could be when you're only on a train. It's pretty good, actually. Um, this one might surprise some people, but... Babe, Pig in the City came out. I feel like that was earlier than 95. No? This was Babe, Pig in the City Country. I remember we watched that in class once. Babe, Pink in the City. And I remember thinking, this is so lame, I'm not even going to watch it. And I just sat at my desk and drew instead. What a tough kid. I can't watch Babe. <laughs> Babe's for losers. Until this day, I've never seen it. Maybe it was great. I really dropped the ball, everyone. Uh, what else we got? Clueless had come out. 
Uh, the Indian in the Cupboard had come out, and man, did that movie have a marketing campaign. I think I saw a trailer for that every day for like three months straight. I remember thinking, wow, these are pretty good effects. I don't know how they did that. Why does the Indian look so small? How'd they do this? Uh, to this day, I've never seen it. Waterworld. Kevin Costner's Waterworld, the at the time most expensive film ever made, was released this month. And it flopped pretty bad. I hear they had to build their own little island that could rotate in the water, and they had to rotate it away from wherever the land was uh, at any given time. So if you're ever watching the movie, just know that directly behind the camera is Kevin Costner and a bunch of land, because he was the director too. <laughs> Alrighty, what else we got here? The Net had come out. Sandra Bullock was kicking some A in The Net. I've spoken about it on this stream before, but do you guys recall in the net, 1995, July, Sandra B, Sandy B, orders a pizza online on a website? No way. I'm watching that. We're all watching that going, no, this is never going to happen. And that's largely because the internet was slow back then. It was crappy. But uh, look at us now. We're doing it on our phones. Uh, things have changed quite a bit. Sandra Bullock, the inventor of the internet. Another movie that they come out, uh, The Usual Suspects. That was, uh, I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but Kaiser Sose is a jerk. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, that one was basically the movie that, that invented the twist ending, as far as I'm concerned. But as far as I'm concerned, the twist ending, th this was before M. Night Shyamalan. This was before The Usual Suspects. There was a commercial on TV for... You know what? I don't even remember what it was for. I'll tell you what the commercial was. It was orange liquid, a close-up on just a glass. And it was like white background. And orange liquid was being poured into the glass all sensually. Like, oh man, that looks tasty. And they panned back and it was cod liver oil being poured in. And they said something in the ad like, don't believe everything you see. Buy Michelin tires. I don't know, something like that. And uh, that was the first big twist that I ever saw in my life. Like. No. No way in hell. Uh, Alright, what else we got here? Uh, Free Willy 2. Did Willy get captured again? <laughs> what happened with Willy? And that same kid had to save him again. In the exact same manner. Alright, uh, uh, albums that had come out. Bet Midler, Bet of Roses. D'Angelo, Brown Sugar. Brown sugar on mine. I was pointing at my belly. There's lots of brown sugar on it. MXPX, Teenage Punk Band, Teenage Politics, their album Teenage Politics had just come out. I remember I really liked MXPX back in the day, although not being a practicing Christian. I remember actually being a little annoyed that they were Christian. I appreciate it more these days. That was good wholesome music. <laughs> it sure beats uh, some, of the, some of the other music that I was listening to at the time. A little wholesome, a little bit uh, overbearing with the wholesomeness, but whatever. Uh, uh, conversely, Ramon's Adios Amigos had come out, Megadeth Hidden Treasures, and Foo Fighters' self-titled album, July 1995. Uh, going into syndication this month, um, or maybe this year, I don't know if it was specifically this month, but Blossom and Step by Step. Um, Northern Exposure had just ended its five-year run. Uh, shows that are starting next month, uh, no, I'll save that for next issue. Or shows that start next month. What show debuts in August? All right, guys. So uh, let's get to it. I don't know. You know, it took me long enough to even get started. Let me get to the start of the magazine here. I'm not prepared. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> They're all going to stop following the stream. All right, guys. Let's do it. Uh, where am I supposed to be here? There we go. Reading. Okay, welcome back. Um, hey, so Judge Dredd was coming out, I think, next month. I don't think it's out yet. Big push. Super big push for, uh, frickin' Judge Dredd. Alright, can we get the rockin' music? Tone it down a bit. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Norrinrad 16-bit dance club, where we only listen to golf game music. At full volume. Just blistering hot speakers. Fred couples himself on synth. All right, Stallone, Stallone's like the action version of Tom Cruise. Although, I I mean like the muscle-bound action version. Like, he really commits to his roles. Like, he had to know putting this whole outfit on 
that this is a little much. But it's also the thing about Stallone that I enjoy is that he commits so hard, like Tom Cruise, that it almost makes it not awkward. I have yet to go back to watch uh, Judge Dredd. Maybe it is bad. I only rented it once. So let's dive in. Uh, July 1995. All right, we're uh, we're pushing the Game Boys hard still in 1995, mind you. Final Fantasy II. That's old, old man. We're talking Final Fantasy III. The game that made every Sega Genesis RPG fan jealous. Jealous. Because I felt it. Oh, that's the best RPG ever. Damn it. Shining Force 2 is really good. I don't know if it's Final Fantasy 3 good. That's just me being honest. The music might be better. Actually, it is better. Music is better. Alright, so, uh, of course, if anyone's in the chat, feel free to, um... Message me. Let me know if uh, levels are good. If anything's wrong, I guess specifically, if anything's wrong, message me. Otherwise, uh, we'll carry on. All right. So uh, yeah, we're gonna play some Task Force this issue. Don't get your hopes up. Ooh, <laughs> it stinks. It stinks in here. It stinks like stinky fighting games. Look at look at this freaking shot here. You guys seeing this? I'd watch this again just based off this image. Look how deranged that looks. Is that what he's doing? Is that what he's doing, everyone? Looks pretty deranged. Of course, this is Fingers theme from Slam City with Scotty Pippen! Alright, so here's a taste. What's in this issue? A little fan art. Lolly lolly la. Comic Zone, of course, we played last week. Pretty good game. I also have some water. Today's episode brought to you by Water. First ever endorsement deal with a molecule. Um, here's a list of the games that are going to be in this issue. I have a games list that I've tested, but obviously, if you guys see anything that you like, uh, I have many games, and I am happy to try and get them to work live on stream. Uh, take it to the field, man. Baseball games. Whoa, chin music. All right. Um, so there's a little article here about just the uh, the price of video games, and uh, it goes to Jufez on uh, Twitch last week. Asked, why did I think the 3DO did not do as well as the other consoles? And I didn't notice that uh, when it first came out. It says here they say, look at the 3DO's big blunder when it's the first system came out at $700. That's not gonna cut it. No one's paying $700 for a system unless they work. And video games at that time were largely like a kid thing, you know? Like I was a kid, I was like 12 years old. Uh, what is this, 1995? I was 12 years old in 1995. I don't have $700. I can't, I can't even realistically ask my parents for $700. It's like, no, I know that's a no. So they had to uh, slash the, the price. They cut it by $300 almost immediately, or uh, a quick turnaround. Uh, resulted in a quick price cut. So that's rough. Um, and that's where I also said I think the PlayStation and the Saturn, uh, they took those lessons and they learned. They were probably thinking at the time when they were developing theirs, like, yeah, it'll be 700 bucks and everyone will be fine. No, no they won't. Hey, we got Nick M in the chat. Just found your stream. This rocks. Hey, you know what? You rock. And I'm not just saying that, because if you're watching this stream, that means you've fallen down a, ra a rabbit hole that is indescribably weird, and you found yourself at the bottom. I wouldn't have it any other way. Alright, so, uh, and yeah, and then this kid's talking about, Hey, what the heck's up with the price of games? The Sega CD only costs like 50 cents. Why, is it, why do we have to pay so much? Well, I will agree, CD, like distribution-wise, yeah, it doesn't cost very much to make a CD, but... Uh, games were getting more complicated. There was a lot more uh, digital technology going on, and uh, you know they had to pay a lot of people a lot of money to get these games made. Of course, there's fighting in Wayne Gretzky hockey. We couldn't do it last week. I tried, but uh, apparently it was the only hockey game around at the time that had fighting. Wayne Gretzky. Who knew? All right, here. Look at this guy. Look at the balls on this kid. Yo, Noel Phillips or Noel. Oh, we got. Welcome to Joe Montana Sports Talk Football. 
Do you have Kylie Minogue's address? Okay, first of all, we're a video game magazine. Um, why would we have Kylie Minogue's address? Uh, second of all, what do you, of course we're not going to give you her address. Here's her management company. I'm surprised I even found that. Um, what? I heard that uh, Australia, Victoria, Australia just announced a state of emergency. Is that for COVID? Jesus. Things are getting weird out there. Not here in this cozy, cozy dance club where we listen to football themes from 16-bit era games where nothing bad can ever happen. All those people in the crowd, um, they're wearing masks and uh, they are not breathing. They're holding their breath. It's, uh, you know, trained professional divers. There's a lot of crossover in the 16-bit football realm. Okay, uh, look at this art. It's pretty good. Did this kid draw this? Because what the hell? How did he make it look like 3D? Good art here. This was the 90s. This is what the 90s looked like. This reminds me of the Max and, uh, you know, like that shading and stuff. I don't know what the hell Emilio drew. Uh, um, nope. Whatever it is, it's very detailed. Congratulations, Emilio. You should be very proud of yourself, and your entire family should be proud of you as well. Uh, Batman and Robin. Quite quite the Sega Genesis game. Sorry. I, uh, when you talk, when you do funny voices, your nose gets congested for some reason. COVID! Um, okay, check it out. Hey, do you guys remember when 3DO was like, Hey, we're still in it, everyone. We're gonna keep going. You guys wanna release new consoles? Well, guess what? We have a new console of our own coming out called the M2. And we swear it will be better than the PlayStation. Black Label Sprite. I do remember seeing this woman karate fighting a raptor. And I don't remember thinking whether or not it looked cool. I just remember thinking it looked like amazing graphics. Okay. Um, I won't read you all this. Um, uh, of course, we all know the 3DO did not come out with a M2. Um, it was just, I bet, by the time PlayStation and Saturn had come out, it was, uh, it was a wrap. All right, we, we'd wrapped it up. Next generation, full swing, sorry 3DO. So I guess it's the official review of the arcade version of Mortal Kombat. Kind of weird, since they did a big feature on it last issue. You guys run, I think this is, like, I don't want to, I don't want to bum everyone out, but I think this is actually kind of a, a weak issue of GamePro. So they're reviewing a game they've talked about a million times already. Uh, but whatever. They say graphics 3.5. Wow. That's kind of harsh. Actually show one of the fatalities. <laughs> Damn, it's like right here is congested. Ugh. Three more hours. Let's go. Um, they say control is a five, a 4.5. Fun fact for 3.5. Yeah, it was not a very well received game, I guess. Sorry, we did three whole issues on it, but it's only a 3.5 and fun. At Golfland. What is this? Special thanks to Adam and Mike at Golfland USA. Did they break down the moves? <laughs> Weird crossover. I wonder what they're up to now. I wonder if they're watching this stream. If they are, thank you, Adam and Mike. You're true American heroes. And by proxy, Canadian heroes as well. Newt, do to boot it! This would have been helpful last month. Son of a bitch. Alright, uh, we got some more baseball games. Playing some baseball. Man, I wish I had baseball. I would watch baseball on TV now. I'm ready. Because I finally understand. As someone that likes the mechanics of throwing, I want to watch a man throw a ball at someone and see if that guy can decide where to swing. I want it. I'm ready. All those missed opportunities when I was living at home and my parents had cable. I don't even have cable anymore. Because all I do is make streams. Oh no! Okay, we're here, everyone. It's time to play some games. So, let's, uh, let's dive in. I might have some stuff on the screen still. Gameplay. Oh no, okay. We're gonna play three different issues of Game Gear. Or three different... Copies of Judge Dredd. Genesis, SNES, and by far the best. 
Game Gear. Um, we're going to start with the Sega Genesis. Um, I did a quick test, and I think... I think the Super Nintendo is gonna run away with this one. So let's uh, let's quickly do a let's do a test here. What do we got? Uh, 3.5s across the board and a three in sound. All right, let's keep that in mind, everyone. Let's keep that in mind. <laughs> My nose is still killing me, but I'm a professional. I will endure. All right, let's get the let's get my Sega Genesis plugged in. Legit, of course. Um, of course, we're listening listening to more Fred Couples on his FM synthesizer. I'm sorry, I'm wasting time. I'm wasting time where I should be uh, plugging in my Sega Genesis, right? All right, so we learned our lesson last stream. Don't. For the love of Christmas, don't leave all your GD emulators open. I mean, consoles plugged in, allegedly. Um. Oh, god damn, Fred! That's smooth. Oh my god, this is smooth. It doesn't get any smoother. Man, I should have probably had this prepared. It's fine. Uh, right? Already getting guffed. I'm getting guffed here, guys. Oh, okay. I'm trying to load the wrong thing. Judge. Dread. Here we go, everyone. It's time. Let's do our due diligence and determine once and for all the best copy platform for Judge Dread. Acclaim? I don't know. I'm already a little skeptical. All right, so far I'm not getting a 3.5 in in sound. I'm getting a. It's a decent. Okay, maybe 3.5 is the starting point. But they're building up. It's maybe getting close to like 3.6. In the third millennium, the world changed. Climate and nations were all in upheaval. Humanity itself turned as violent as the planet. Civilization threatened to collapse, and then a solution was found. The crumbling legal system was merged with the overburdened police, creating a powerful and efficient hybrid. These new guardians of society had the power to dispense both justice and punishment. Damn it, I didn't read it fast enough. All right, we get the gist. Judge Dredd has a green card to crack some skulls. And you think, oh man, oh man, that's too analogous to nowadays. Well, wait till you see the jerks in this world, okay? And then and then we'll decide whether or not he should be cracking some skulls. He is the law. Incoming message. Heavenly Haven, upside down cross. Judge Dredd, there is a block war in process at Heavenly Haven Tower. Judge Hershey has requested assistance. Therefore, your primary objective will be to locate and destroy all ammunition supplies found in the area to prevent further wars. Your secondary objective is to stop the block war. Arrest or sentence all perps involved. That is all. Good luck. I'm ready to... Crack some skulls! Yo, shoot first, ask questions later. Are you firing it? You firing at this police officer after I already shot your friend? How dare you? Alright. What does this button do? Whoop. Alright, I'm cycling my weapon. Alright, this is maybe less than a three in music as far as I'm concerned. Up, oh, all right. Oh, we can climb. Hey, remember that scene in the movie when he climbed? What's down here? Some rad stuff. Do I have to shoot these? All right, that doesn't work. Can I? Can I do this? No. All right. Uh, I'm sure there's something. Is this a six-button game? That button switches weapons. 
This button shoots. That button jumps. All right. I know in the Super Nintendo version, you can break these. Well. A little unnecessary animations here. Yo, you punching me? Oh, man. He's going gonna, he's gonna to beat Judge Dredd. All right. Hack the Matrix. Whoa. Look at those tight buns. See, I don't discriminate about buns in video games. Mission status, ammo status, dread status. Location, Heavenly Haven. All right, I don't care. are we, did I destroy all the munitions? Uh, no, I didn't. Status, 25 complete. You killed two people, so that's 25% of the people. Terminal menu, mission status. Wait, can I leave? Can you let me leave? It's taken four, perps sentenced three, shots fired 78. <laughs> Seems like a little much. Accuracy 11. We need some police reform in this town. Yo, we got Lee Goddard in the chat. Hey, brah. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. One of my oldest friends is going to hang out with me and my son and my wife tomorrow. And it will be a delightful day out. And he's in the chat, checking out the stream. I don't know what the hell's going on. Get me to the next screen. Oh, okay. I have to push the buttons. I thought those were like bullet point A, bullet point B. Right, for the love of Christmas. All right. Gotta go crack some more skulls here. Holy lord, I have grenades. See, the grenades blow up the boxes. I don't I don't know how to get anywhere else. I'm already stuck. I just started playing Judge Dredd and I'm stuck. Is there a way down there? No. Where did I even get those grenades from? Alright, there's gotta be something up here. Oh my god, steam! Can't handle a little steam. All right, do I jump down there? Is that a thing? Oh, here we go. Yo, you don't know you're messing with perp. You're gonna give me infinite ammo. I'm gonna shoot this guy many times. Headshot, headshot. Is that in the police manual? Guilty. Oh, see, you give him one second, turns around, he tries to get you. This is a dark future, okay? Oh no, the the fan touched me. What is this? Did that see foe? Right. We'll only play this for a little longer, because I do believe the Super Nintendo is the superior version. I do appreciate the infinite ammo. It's a, a nice touch. Do I push a button here? Do I... Are they trying to reinvent the wheel here? Up oh, does not seem to do anything. I'm trying! Nice effect on the explosion. Alright. Guys, help. Up doesn't do anything. Left, right, C button, C button. B button. How about up and B? No, up and A. Up and all three buttons. It's a six button game. Whoa, it is a six button game. I have a karate kick. Can I not enter the door? This is some pretty intense uh, looking at a door music. All right, he's more interested in just shooting perps than he is entering the door to the next area. That's fine. I don't want to. I don't want to spend the whole night at this door. All right. Sorry to be so jarring, but that was Judge Dredd on Sega Genesis. Now, of course, they're giving it a. What are they saying here? Yeah, I think it might actually be a little worse than their uh, advertising here. I would not give that a 3.5, but of course I did not give it a good fair share try. I got stuck basically on the first door in the game. You know, <laughs> your game is suffering pretty badly if the first door is enough for a, a man in his 30s um, who can't get through it. So maybe the Super Nintendo can right the wrongs of the past and prove once and for all that it's the ultimate version of Judge Dredd. Oh, I don't want to spoil it yet. I want to restart the game. Because the music seems a lot better on the Super Nintendo version as well. 
And this is coming from a Sega Genesis fanboy. All right, a little sip of my Black Label Sprite. Diet. It's getting warm. It's getting warm in here, guys. All right, let's look at the objectively better looking graphics. Um, all right, I will need to turn them on for you to see them. That looks a lot better than the Genesis version already. All right, we don't need to read that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Start the game. Start the game, begin the magic. All right, let's, let's be objective here, everyone. And here we go. Mm. Already I feel like playing this a lot more. Ooh, the animation is way nicer on the jump. The control, anyway. Yo, perp. I'll, pu I'll punch you. I'm just gonna run through the town shooting everyone. Oh, maybe you can't shoot them in the Super Nintendo version. Fine. Yo, that uh, rain looks a lot better in this version, too. I must say. This guy is asking for it. Oh, is that another terminal? Can I karate kick this? No. What is that? What am I doing? Are you guys seeing this? This is what the X button does. All right. Whoops, I just dropped five grenades on that man. Yo, what do you do to perps? Karate kick to the face. Oh, I didn't open a door. That's my bad, everyone. Can I do it with this? Can I karate kick this terminal? Is that doing anything? What firm buns? My, my, my. All right, terminal menu, dread status, ammo status. Uh, all right, all right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Heat seeker, okay. Boing, yeah, all right, yeah, we got the boing. Uh, whoops, and um, yeah, that's great. And are we completing the mission appropriately? All right, and now what? I don't, I don't necessarily know why that door is locked. Can I jump back up there? No, all right, I guess we're stuck down here. Well, that's, oh, here we go. Get your purple armor out of here. All right, we're gonna need to settle this the only way we know how. Grassroots political action. Oh man, there could be a bad guy down here, you don't know. <laughs> I can't even get to the door that stuck me in the last game. All right, if I can't get back up to the top of the map, then I can't even go check that other terminal. Is there a run button? There's a punch button. Whoops, yeah, oh, what is that, backward? What am I doing? Okay. This music sounds pretty good. No. Can I, is there a, like a grapple feature? Oh, games in the 90s. All right, fine. Um, but we can say with confidence, this version looks a lot better, right? Am I right? But we have yet to play the greatest uh, version to date. And that's the Game Gear version. All right, so we're gonna find that out right now. Hey everyone, welcome to the chat. Just gonna check the Twitch chat, everyone's calm on there. Alright, um... That's fine. Everyone's bashful. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind everyone. Of course, anyone in the chat who knows what background I am currently floating in front of, feel free to say. First one to say gets to... Um... What's the ridiculous thing I'm gonna do? First one to guess what game it is gets me to read their name out live on the stream. What an award. 
What a great day for Canada and Canadians, and of course, therefore, the world. Judge Dredd. All right. Get ready, everyone. I mean, just get ready. There we go. Here's a boatload of fun. Judge Dredd on Game Gear. Of course, the penultimate edition. I gotta say, the Acclaim logo looks better there than it did on Sega Genesis. What the F? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, nothing so far has sold me on the Game Gear. Why would anyone buy the Game Gear? Alright. I mean, when you compare it to the music that was on the Game Boy? Eh. Eh. At least they covered the song. That's something. Alright. Oh my lordy. It looks like they just down -rezzed the game. <laughs> oh, of course these are some phenomenal sound effects. I'm sorry, I'm ripping on it. I'm being a little r I'm being a negative Nelly. You have to think, if this was tiny sized, tiny in your hands, and you were playing it on a long car ride to grandma's house, maybe you'd think, this is all right. Right? Am I right? I mean, they have the kick move, they have infinite ammo, yeah, they're, uh... All right, can I... I mean, so far I'm able to get further in this game than I was in the other two, so, I mean, there's that. That's pretty good. I am the law. Wait, how do I get up there? God damn it, am I stuck again? Can I climb this? Yes, I can. They have the lab coat man, just like in the other games. Turns his back on Judge Dredd. That's when you get kicked in the face. Should have known. All right, where are we going here? I'm up at the top of the building. Oh, okay, here we go. Yo, if we can get to the end of this level, um, this will be the penultimate version of the game. Uh, all right, we're in trouble now. This doesn't look good. Have I been? Oh my lordy, should I have kept climbing across? Okay, fine. Back we go. Lessons were learned. This is, of course, all part of police training. You might need to climb across a rope. And don't you dare drop down. All right, we made it. Let's log in, hack the matrix here. Do they have the buns? They do. All right, congratulations. Congratulations, Game Gear. It's a great day for Game Gear and, of course, therefore, the world. What do we got here? Oh, he starts running after a while. That's that's even more complicated than the other versions. I'm digging it. I'll pay 60 bucks for this. I don't care. What? Oh, dear. Oh, now I got crazy weapon. Whoopsies. Well, I have that now. Alright, I'm gonna guess that they want me to go all the way down. Karate kick the face! Whoops, you know, didn't mean to do that. Lessons were learned, and still being learned. Uh, what do you have to do here? Pause the game, then do this? Yeah. I think the Game Gear only had two buttons, if I'm not mistaken. I'll shoot your kneecaps, man! Police training, 101. Didn't Robocop shoot guys in the kneecaps? Stand corrected. <laughs> uh, nah, 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 nah. That's right, we're doing... We're doing some fine work here. This is a course for science. Um, these are the questions that need to be... Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm in trouble now, aren't I? Jesus, Lord, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'll kick you in the face, man. All right. Perp subdued. Did I die? Is that why I got health back? You're under arrest! Of course, diagonal shots. The uh, most deadly move in the arsenal of any police officer. They'll never see you coming. Oh, I'm getting the... He's got a shoddy! 
This karate kick will stop him. All right. Stand corrected with a P. Oh, dear lord, guys. What do I do? Up again does not <laughs> does not work. Both buttons at once. Um, pause. Up. No. Down. There's a real issue with this game. <laughs> this game and entering doors. Ah, I thought this was gonna be the chosen one. All right, does start do anything? Select. This button jumps. This button shoots. This button pauses the game. Up looks up. Down crouches. I think I'm out of ideas here. Okay, how about all three buttons at once? No. How about this and then this? This and then, no. Doors! The bane of my existence. I can't, I can't show you guys the next level. <laughs> what the hell? That's a toss up. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I do like that they have a little muzzle flash on my guy. That's a nice touch. Confirm. Stamp it. Game Gear version. Best version. Um, I hope you guys like the first level, because that's all you're going to see. I, what are you... Just, it, instead of flipping your gun, go in the door. <sighs> Sigh. Okay. Let's get back to the magazine, of course. Alright. Yo, pro review! Do they say anything about impossible to enter doors? Because that's what I want to know. Alright, currently we're listening to... Star Trader by Kishi Yanao. And uh, a Sharp X68000 game. Um, kick punch, doors, anything? No? Alright. Super Nintendo version, they say, has better graphics and better sound. I would agree. Game Gear version, they say... Good graphics for a Game Gear game. Bad sound for a Game Gear game. I wonder what Game Gear game has good sound. That's what I want to know. And that's all I want to know. Alright, moving on. Oh my. Frank Thomas is bearing all. Nothing left the imagination. Wait, you guys can't see that. Well, I won't. I can't live with myself if you guys don't get to see them. Hello. It's a family friendly stream, Matt. Jesus. This was big deal back then. Oh, speaking of green screens. Hey, everyone. Green screen technology. I'm pretty proud of myself. For an audio guy, I sure am doing a lot of video work lately. Is this song kicking ass or what? So yeah, they're talking about how a lot of the, the games back then were digital. Like this Batman game and the Frank Thomas game. Val Kilmer as Batman. Man, Batman has... He's seen some things. Oh, right. Okay, we're going to get on to some good games. Now, I've already played Tekken on the stream once before. So I'm not necessarily going to play it again now. Um, but Crazy Ivan... I had no idea this was such an early game. And this is actually very accurate. A lot of Russian art does look like this. Um, I assume he's Russian since his neck tattoo. We're going to play ourselves some PlayStation, which I'm kind of happy for, because a lot of these 16-bit games around this era, in these magazines at least, they weren't, they weren't really doing it for me. That was my jam back then. I had the 16-bit. Feels sacrilegious. All right. Let's play ourselves some Crazy Ivan. Um, what do they say about Crazy Ivan? Crazy Ivan will be a first person 3 3D combat blaster. In the year 2086, nasty extraterrestrials have enclosed vast arenas of Earth behind nearly impenetrable force fields. The Russians crack the field, so they encase a bolts for brain soldier Ivan in a 40 foot, 50 ton mech warrior power suit and let him go. Well, crazy. Crazy with a K. Um, alright, guns galore. I like it. I like it, and this song is set in the mood. The last man. The ultimate hero. 
in the hands of the Russians. Very odd choice. You don't see a lot of Western games where it's like, eh, this Russian guy's the star. Alright. Little change of pace. I highly recommend people check out some uh, Russian cartoons. I don't know what you would type on YouTube for that. I'll, I'll maybe figure that out for next episode. But there's some Russian cartoons out there that are like, like Soviet-era Russian cartoons. Because they put a lot of money into it. It was like their Disney. So there's some there's some interesting animation coming out of Russia at that time. And almost as a point of uh, pride, I guess they, they did not copy what anyone else was doing. Japan or the West. So if you're a fan of classic animation, which is why I've checked it out. That's an interesting one to observe. God damn, this song is killing me. Alright, let's uh, plug in our PlayStation 1. Alright, because we're playing only official uh, copies right now. Nothing weird here. I still have to navigate a couple folders. My bad. My B. Scroll down to the K's on my original PlayStation. Alright, we're ready. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Oh my lord, does that sound good or what? Alright. Super Nintendo Close. Wait, did I not have... Oh yeah, okay. No. Close you. I don't need everything open at once. Except for the PlayStation. Let's make you bigger. Not that big. We're not crazy. And let's center you just a tad. Wait, you can go all the way up there? Alright, let's make you bigger then. God damn. Now yeah, we'll send you. Crazy Ivan, July 1995. Psygnosis, interesting. That's very interesting to me. Oh, who bets this skull's gonna get crushed? Not me. <laughs> of course. The Russians! these high definition graphics that's actually really good good lord huh? what's wrong you're as jumpy as a jackrabbit cheap it's getting on my nerves is that real actors is that why it looked so good to me or is that cg guys i okay it has to be actors it's just so pixelated that it looked like it was graphics at first at the end of the day, what's the difference? If you can't tell, right? Maybe that's a, a testament to how good graphics are now. That they look this real. That I'm just used to games looking this real. Uh-oh. They're going for it. I dig it. I'm bored. Our ETA at launch coordinates is... Uh, that is close enough. Initialize launch procedure. You can't do that, Commander. Oh? The transporter is not stabilized. The blast shields are not done. That's enough. Launching now. Hit this looks really good. This is crazy. Am I crazy? Am I the crazy one, everyone? Oh my I think gosh. it looks pretty good. Yet, ignition is too early. I knew it. We are going to die. You have 15 seconds to achieve takeoff mode. Uh oh. And get the shields up. You, you think they're gonna make it, everyone? Stabilizers now. Oh my god. I'm so tense. I'm so nervous. Post traumatic stress, they say. Stabilizers down. Raising launch tube. It's too late. We're toast. Go for it. Launch tube in position. Oh, is that Ivan? Is Ivan the one they're talking to? Go, Ivan! Go! Oh, is that the Americans? Those Yankee dogs? I'm really getting into it. This game was actually funded by Russians. This is Russian propaganda. Rory, ro, Rory, ro, Rory, ro, Rory. Let me loose, coach. It's Johnny Five. Kind of a goofy head. Yeah, 
That is Ivan. All right, robot jocks the video game. Here we go. I'm ready. My whole body is ready, actually. I've been ready. I've been ready for... Was it? 20... 25 years I've been ready to play this game. For some reason, I never rented it back in the day. It was highly... It was always there. You know, you always saw Crazy Ivan. Uh, okay, loading. What can you do? Nothing. Just have to sit and wait. Please wait. Please wait, everyone, and get your expectations at their maximum level. And then go even higher. Late title card. That's all right. Weird that it loads into the game, right? It's a little quiet. I can't live with that. Oh, maybe not. Pretty goddamn loud, actually. Skip that GD demo. And it's like going to the doctors. First, you have to go to the waiting room. And then you have to go to the other waiting room. That song was super quiet, but the game sounds loud as frick. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, more loading. I wonder if the... Sorry, I wonder if the way I'm playing it right now loads it faster. Take that. Do I have a jump button? Oh, Lord, this was back in the day when L and R would zoom you up and down. Or, uh, can I shoot these innocent people? All right. I'm overheating. No! What is this? Are these... Oh, that's... Those are landmines. All right, how do I stop getting shot at? Can I go over this hill? Oh, no. No, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. It's a nice touch. All right, deadlock. We're deadlocked. I like the... L2, R2, do a little dash. It's nice. Sideways dash. All right, upsy doodle. All right, which button? All right. Can I look down for the love of God? What are they saying? Don't. Oh, I'm rescuing them. I should probably stop shooting them then. Am I out of bounds? Enemy located. Where? I don't see no damn enemy. Code name Deadlock. Oh. Sounds ominous, but he won't be winning any IQ tests. Okay. Where the frick is he? Point me at him, coach. There's Dwarf. Where the F is Deadlock? Whoop! I could have used those earlier. Alright, techno time. Techno dance party, engage. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, they're just throwing me into it here. Oops. Look down. Do not do that. Alright, lock on, lock on, lock on, lock on. Oh. Alright, we got him, we got him. We got him by the ass. Deadlock, do you know who the F you're messing with? I'm crazy. I'm freaking crazy. Alright, 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 get out of there. I don't know where my health bar is. Yeah, that'll do. Can I just hold this button now? Nope, you have to keep tapping it. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to use our Jesse Ventura Medi guns from now on out. Can we whip them? Hell yeah. Wait, I don't wanna get exploded here. Rescue them! Where are you guys going? How am I supposed to rescue if you're running away? Alright. Okay, Crazy Ivan, not so bad, everyone. There's no jump button, though. The armored core player in me wishes there was a jump boost button. Uh, what the hell? Where did these guys go? Yeah. Rescue you all day. What are you doing in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this LR thing is absolutely brutal. You know what I mean by when I'm saying that? Like, you have to actually use L1 and R1 to look up or down. It's a little off-putting. Alright, let's go get Dwarf and call it a day. Oh, 
the music is quiet in this game, but the explosions seem like a decent volume. Or maybe not. Wait, I'm in trouble, everyone. Crazy Ivan is in a crazy amount of trouble. Okay, prisoner rescued. Yeah, we're gonna turn this game up. Oh lordy, Jesus, oh lord. Let's turn you up. We're 6 dB louder now. Whoops, that's not what you're supposed to do. Try for a headshot and keep moving. All right, stay up a little bit. Headshots, here we go. Watch, you guys are witnessing like some of the best 32-bit uh, LR aiming on display. I just hope you know that, all right? I don't want to, I don't want you guys to think you're not in good hands. Could have been worse. Oh dear lordy. Ah, oh, see, I'm, I'm ace. I can probably go up to the other guy. I'm just, I'm, I'm so good at this game. It's crazy. That's all I do is rescue prisoners. That was some thing. Uh, there's a lot of dead air in that room. Wait, take that, and you take that. Oops. Now I have to look down awkwardly. Alright, well, we'll go get Raptor and then we'll call it a day. They're not the only ones that can talk in a funny voice. I can talk in funny voices too, you know. Damn! Get Putin on the line. I'm the ultimate Russian soldier. Is someone shooting at me? What the heck? Who are you messing with? I'm Robo Ivan. Oh dear lordy, that doesn't sound good. Alright, watch these amazing skills. Oh lordy. Where'd he go? So intense. He shoot laser beams at me. Run away. <laughs> Run away, everyone. We don't need a piece of that. We need to give Raptor a piece. Oh my god, no. Uh, it's still pretty loud. I don't know. Alright, Raptor. Let's go. Let's do that. Let's get real. The sentient in this arena is codenamed Raptor. He's sneaky, so watch your back. The good news is he's not as tough as he looks. Well, that's reassuring. Bring him on. Velociraptors. Jurassic Park. Clever girls. Oh, clever girl. Oopsies. Oh, oh. Who's the clever girl now? I got no more missiles. We're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. By getting smashed repeatedly. Oh, here it is. Here it is. No, 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 no. Not to mention, to do my strafing, I have to use L2 and R2. Where the F? So you have to be all over the shoulder buttons to play this game. A little overheating, that's fine. Oh. Uh, Alright. Am I out of ammo? Is that what's going on here? Oh dear lordy. I am out of ammo. Jesus. Alright, let's use the mountains as cover. That's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. One's a little harder than the rest. Guys, what? Mech combat is in my blood. If I can't be a mech pilot, what the hell good am I? That's crazy, Ivan. Um, 
a little bland on the graphics there, but uh, the gameplay was surprising. Uh, it was pretty fun. The shoulder buttons are a deal breaker. Not, not easy to go back to. Hell yeah. All right. Okay, everyone. Uh, what's next here? Uh, yeah, we're gonna play some of these games. So I've already played Ridge Racer on stream. That was, of course, the first PlayStation game I ever played. That might be a little loud. What am I, what am I out of my mind? All right, um, so we're gonna play Kiliak, which was called Kiliak the Blood, but they changed it later on. Oh, sorry, of course. Okay. Nothing but no expense was spared during the creating of this stream, everyone. Um, so we're gonna play some Kiliak. I always wanted to play this game as well. I never did. And it's probably for a good reason. I didn't really like first-person shooters back in those days. Actually, I didn't like first-person shooters until basically Call of Duty 4. That was the one that got me. Like, pretty damn good. So we're gonna play some Kiliak. Kiliak? Uh, my brother in the chat, of course, saying, that transition is money. Thank you, appreciate it. I have another one, too. We're also dealing with this one. Uh, I was busy last night. When you have a green screen, use it or lose it, okay? And I used it. All right, here's Kiliak. Also, uh, here's the list of games if you guys would like to specifically call out a game that needs to be played earlier in the stream. If you have to leave at some point, I'd be happy to play one that you'd just like to see. Um, like I said, it's kind of a slow issue. Uh, yeah. Uh, of course, the PlayStation was just starting to come out, so it was uh, kind of a PlayStation-heavy episode. Not a lot of arcade games this year. This month, this week. Um... Genki. I don't remember that game company. Sony Computer Entertainment of America presents... Sperm! I'm getting copyright strike. This is an adult, adult stream. I tried. I did my best. I had a good run. L lovely title card. August 16th, 2038. International Peacekeeping Force Headquarters, Auckland. Control picks up an urgent message from undercover agent Franco Fukuzawa at the South Pole Observation Base of the giant Bifloss Group. The message reads, Situation critical. Kim must be stopped. Repeat, Kim must be stopped. Kim Out must be stopped. Our assault chopper is speeding toward the South Base. Don't worry, we'll speed over there and we'll stop them. Operations team, White Lightning. White Lightning. Now enter Get in your helicopter, we're South going in. Observation Base airspace. Time to target. 360 seconds. Oh. Protect armor. One. Stand by two, for landing and entry. Three. Four. Five. Captain, data screen shows evidence of survivors on base. Isolate all survivors and watch your backs. All right, men. Watch your backs, men. Heat seeking missiles approaching. Don't worry, I will. Initiate. Just be careful, okay? Invasion no. Time remaining to impact four seconds. Three seconds. All right, let's do it. It's game on. I see pride, I see power. High speed movement mode on. All right, this is where we separate the boys from the men, okay? That goes for ladies too. Put some hair on your chest. Um. CG back in 1995. That's what it looked like. Of course, it was a wonderful time. Step by step, it just entered syndication. Uh, Blossom had just entered syndication. It was a wonderful time for Canada and therefore, of course, the world. Object approaching. Uh, we were all in line to go see Free Willy 2 at the time that this came out. Babe, Pig in the City was delighting audiences world over. Of course, uh... Of course, we were all enamored with Natasha Henstridge showing her bare breasts in Species. 
many times. Oh. That's the bare breast alarm. Stop. Systems check. Alright. Don't worry. I got it, okay? Don't tell me how to check my system, okay? Right, yeah, thanks Blake, I appreciate that. Um, I did learn my lesson last week. I left the game list up for like a whole game, it was stupid. I just tried to leave it up, just a, enough time for anyone Switch. to give it a good uh -huh. look. But I appreciate you letting me know. The chat is so far behind too, what a weird... I don't know how to fix that. That's my project for next time. Alright, so I can't tell. Is this good graphics, or is this bad graphics? Because at first glance, it looks like good graphics, but... When you see every room looks exactly the same, it starts getting like... Is this bad graphics? Access data screen. Wrong button. Whoops. Alright, apparently circle button does that. Can I de-access? Okay. I like when these western games would just have anime sound effects. I don't like that they have a limited number of shots. But here we go. Is this supposed to be like a survival horror game? Jesus, enough messages! What? This is Carlos. Repeat. Carlos. This is Carlos. Captain, do you copy? Exercise extreme caution. The enemy is everywhere and attacks without warning. Seems like it's pretty dangerous to be in here. That's why I'm gonna go in guns blazing. Hell yeah! Let's go! Let's go crazy! All right, that might be too loud. We'll we'll see if when I watch this back if that was too loud. All right, let's get real. Repair part. Repair part. All right, we're back in action. I think just the sound effect is stupidly loud. All right, it's loud in my headphones, anyways. Is this? Can I strafe? Okay, strafing on the L and one or L one R one. That's a little better. Strafing makes sense, but looking up and down, that's silly. Something's got to be down at the end of this hallway. Did I get him? Did we whip him? I did. <laughs> of course, triangle button is what you would want to use to open a door. Damn. This game's getting all kinds of heavy. Cartridge secured. Maybe I'll turn this down a bit. I mean, that gunshot is just a little too loud. We're not crazy here, okay? There's some semblance of sanity. Jesus, it's still too loud. Repair part secured. Yeah, this is this is not a dual joystick game. You have to use the D-pad to look around and strafe with L1 R1. What a weird time for games. Secured. All right, let's go. All right, that was the big baddie. I don't, I don't necessarily, oh, is my health thing? Okay, I see it now. Cartridge secured. There's a game coming out that's been advertised for like six or seven years called Routine. That kind of reminds me of this, but an actual like modernized version of it. Because it's kind of creepy, right? And in Routine, there was this shot where uh, you're walking down these creepy dark hallways. And um, you only have like a little uh, night vision camera in front of you that you're using to see what's in front of you and it's like a really delayed frame rate so it's like it's all choppy but the game itself is super smooth and so uh yeah that that just reminds me of walking down these hallways of course routine has been coming out for oh lordy it's an ambush routine's been coming out for like seven years i remember when i first saw it i was like oh man i don't have a pc good enough to play that i'll never get to play it and i've had pcs good enough to play it for at least five years so it's been quite a while I guess this is the mess hall. Repair part secured. Watch some tube. All right, things are happening. Weird audio here. What do we got? What the hell am I looking at here? Cyber chips. Is this a okay? I was about to chastise the game for having a superfluous room, but uh, it has a purpose. Oh lordy! Oh lordy, lord! Oh Jesus! Secured. That's all right. We Access secured the cartridge. Key card. All right, fine. We gotta find a key card. I'll go a couple rooms further. I I don't know. If, wait, is that a key card? Battery secured. No. Battery secured. Oh lordy, Jesus, Lord! Cartridge secured. 
Am I, I'm in a bad way. All right, there's got to be some baddies in here. Jesus, that guy takes some beef. Card secured. We got the key card. All right. Now, do I see what's in this room, or do I go back to the key card room? I'm going back. I want to know what the F is in that room. And then we're going to stop playing this game. I always wanted to play it. it. It's the type of game that advertises really well. You see a, sc a screenshot from this game looks good. Like if you just look at that, if that was a screenshot in the magazine, you'd be like, whoa, these are the best graphics ever. All right, key card acquired. Lock off. Ooh, this is good graphics. I like this. Record card secured. What, we, what is this? Huh? Eh? A cutscene? Energy charge. There's a little black label sprite. It's caffeine free, you know. I'll be sleeping like a baby tonight. All right, that's I don't know what that cutscene did. Repair parts secured. Where the hell is the secretary? I'm annoyed. All right. I don't know what's beeping. I don't think my health is low. All right. What the hell? All right. Ambush. Secured. Alright. We'll see what's at the end of this hallway, then we'll call Kiliak the blood in the bag. Oh. We got a split. Alright. Repair parts secured. Secure those repair parts. Do a quick lap. Uh if you'll see there's a yellow line that goes around my office. Follow it. We got a lot of ammo and not a lot of paces to use it. Here we go. Where's this taking me? Where am I off to? I knew it, you son of a butt. There's almost no way to fight those guys without taking a hit. All right. Whoa, sneaky devil. I'm basically the best player at this game currently alive. These are strats that uh, you won't find anywhere else, people. Is this the door that's locked? I don't want to know. I don't know. And frankly, I don't want to know. Alright, that's been Kiliak the Blood. That's a chapter in my life finally laid to rest. I can finally say I've played Kiliak, or Kiliak, whatever you want to... Let's bring back the Sega Genesis tunes. Or sorry, these are just FM tunes in general. Alright. So we've played Ridge Racer, and it was good. We have not played Wipeout. I can't remember if this game is 60 frames a second or not. And we're gonna find out right now. Um, sadly, everyone, I think... Or no. F1 Aardvark is actually just called The Agile Warrior. We'll get to it. We're going to do both. Because that's what we do on this stream. Let's go! Alright, so here's the games list. Where are we at here? We're doing Wipeout, then Agile Warrior. Of course, if anyone sees a game they want to play, let me know and I'll jump ahead. But for right now, we're going to play some Wipeout. Hell yeah. Oh god. Um, damn it, I don't have it loaded yet. Alright, you guys are gonna watch me fiddle through a folder. While well, you look at the screen and listen to this music. Alright, there's, uh, games. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm plugging in the CD into my PlayStation right now. Wait, is this not big enough? Who do I think I am? What a sloppy stream. That's better. Now you can't see my arm underneath. It's all about reality. Creating a reality. The only reality. 
All right, Wipeout was a big deal when it came out. Big enough that I rented it. So, I mean, that's kind of a big deal. Games list down. PlayStation on. Tunes off. All right, so Wipeout. This was a big deal. This one got advertised a lot. I mean, I rented it once, so does that count? Another Psygnosis Jam? Yeah. I love my DR. Interesting. I think this game has some pretty thumping techno. Oh, jeez, it's not even techno, it's like hard beat. Let's do our Melbourne Shuffle, of course, to the beat. And of course, let's turn this up. Of, uh, of course, what we would be hearing in a Polish dance club. Hey, fun boys, got the room. This is what techno goths listen to when they dance under a bridge. I'm sure, we've all seen the video. If not, type in techno goth and enjoy. So I don't know if they're. Uh, I guess they're going for uh, F Zero, like a modern F Zero. But then F Zero. G something? The N64 one came out and kind of took it to the next level. This was before that. Wipeout. Remember the show Wipeout? Or, yeah, okay. I thought this said Whip Out at first. But don't do that. 1994. Okay. Started 94. What's all this Namco business about? Huh? So I think the big deal with this game was uh, that it had tracks that could go up and like curve you backwards. We'll see. Okay. I don't want to, I don't have to advertise the game, but I remember that was what they were trying to do. But guess what? Oh, damn. Which corporation are we? I guess we have to be Venom. Championship race. Yellow and blue. That's a nice combo. Will be Daniel Chang. The Swedish, the Swedish Asian pilot. Oh, his location is Canada. Well, all right. The Swedish Canadian. Max height. Okay, okay. I'm surprised he's Canadian. That's a nice touch. All right, which button is go? X button. Hell yeah. All right, which button is change the view? Oh, that acid base. Nice. Running at a pretty good frame rate here. Weird that there's no sound effect for going over those speed boosts. This button is shoot. Oh, there we go. Alright, I gotta get better. What do we got here? Blue? Nope. Rocket. How do I do anything? Oh lordy Jesus, oh lord. What am I? Do I have rocket? Oh, I dropped something. All right, wipeout. Turns out it's a cart racer. I cannot keep straight to save my life. Is there like LR? Can I do some yaw steering here? I think you can. That's a nice touch. That is a pretty, pretty bad looking rocket. I don't want to be ripping on games, but I know a bad rocket when I see one. All right. I don't know if these are even speed boosts. I don't know what's going on here. All right, I gotta concentrate on staying on the damn track. I keep slowing down. All right, now we're getting it. Take it. Oh, it's only a straight shot. The sport of the future, wipeout racing. Oops, yeah, it's pretty bad news when you crash into a wall. Oh, damn, thread the needle here. Obviously not threading the needle right now. Got an ice blast. All right, let's see if I can stop hitting the walls here, because that is really killing my buzz, man. Chocolate me, buddy. I'm buzzing, buddy.
boost. That is rough. Hitting the wall in this game is rough. All right, we secured position four. And that's Wipeout. That's gonna do it for Wipeout. Oh my lord, these headphones are tight. My, my hair. All right, let's, uh, let's, oh, just as the song ends. That's a perfect time, of course, to load up some smooth jazz. Now, for everyone in the archive, for those watching the stream, forgive me, uh, real quick in the archive, hey everyone, if you've ever felt like checking out the music I make uh, as a living, feel free to go to my band camp and spot some of these albums, just give them a stream, no need to purchase anything unless you're really into it. Of course, all proceeds go directly to me and my idiotic purchases, of which there are many. Um, we also have, for the first time, officially announced um, a super funky Patreon. Uh, I don't have the address for it, but if you type in Matt Creamer Audio Patreon, it should take you there. Um, now, I'm not the guy that's like, oh, you gotta pay me money, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even, I didn't even want a Patreon, but you know, it's a, and you know, they're in a little bit of legal trouble lately, so I don't know how, how much longer they're gonna be like going full steam, but I got a Patreon and I decided it would be nice if I gave some decent perks other than a stream once a week and a bunch of noodling around sporadically. So I went into the archive, the Norn Rad archive. Uh, let's loop that. I went into the Norn Rad archive and I found myself two gigs and 464 files of old material that has never been released in any way, shape, or form. As you're seeing here, I tried to label it all correctly. So if you join the Patreon account or whatever, um, you get access to that. That's all I could really think. Of course, that money goes directly towards me feeding myself more Diet Sprite Black Label. Alright, so that's enough shilling. Hi everyone. Alright, so we're humming along here. We've been at it for a little over an hour, hour and a half. Uh, we're gonna play some more games. I guess we're gonna check out Agile Warrior, which uh, I, don't, I don't even think I've checked yet. Could be all kinds of awful. I ain't hating this baseline, I'll tell you that right now. Um, let's see if I did test it. Nope. Okay, we're going into uncharted territory here. I don't even know if I extracted the disc from the jewel case. Allegedly. Uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> now, was this, no, yeah, this was still, there's a lot, there's a couple of games later on the list, as you'll see here. Uh, there's some games here at the end. Oops. Uh, duh, duh, duh. These PlayStation games at the end, Lone Soldier and the Raven Project are PAL games. That's why I was, uh, I was wondering if this was a PAL one, but it isn't. Agile Warrior. Have I extracted it from the jewel case? Yes, I have. Plugging it in as we speak. And clicking it in. Okay. We're set. Going loud. A little loud on this one. But I think I like it. Of course, there's the games list. If anyone has any games they want to check out, uh, let me know. And I'll be happy to check them out. Other than that, bam. Game time. Let's go. Let's get our agility. Gotta get... Gotta get agile. All right, I feel limber. I'm ready. These fools don't know who they're messing with. See, it was just super loud, now it's all quiet. Damn. Developed by the Black Ops Entertainment Team. Agile Warrior! Wait, we can do better. Agile Warrior F111X or F111X You proud of yourself, Matt? 
guess. Damn, this game's starting hardcore. Just blast them all, let's go! Uh, uh. All right. We're French, so we only celebrate Bastille Day. More full motion video. I gotta make sure I'm not waking up my son while I'm making stupid sounds. Um, also, if anyone's in the chat and they like watching the full motion cutscenes, let me know. If you absolutely hate them, let me know and I'll skip them. I like to see just how bad it's gonna be first. What was this guy from? This mission has three targets. First, destroy enemy radar sites. Watch out for ZSU AAA and Panther helicopters. Second, knock out the vertical assembly building and all surrounding fuel tanks. These will be guarded by Mirage aircraft. Third, destroy the Ariane rocket on Kind of on board with this soundtrack. These are the Eurofighter and ground launch stingers. Radar sites are crucial. Yo, Eric dudes in the Twitch. We'll send it a B1 and Eric, let me know. You, and sure by the way, who's this actor? What the hell was he in? Um, if you're on board with the cutscenes, let me know. I'll keep watching them. Otherwise, I'll, I'll cut those cutscenes. I won't think twice. All right, this game has impressed me thus far. I'm expecting something worth playing. It's loading. Oops, and for some reason you're allowed to fire before you're actually in control of your ship. Hell yeah! Jesus Christ! Oh, and they have yaw steering! Look at me go! Alright, I am thoroughly on board. I gotta get more agile. Am I a helicopter? Why am I hearing helicopter blades? All right, I gotta use the radar. Let's get sensible. That, is there a slow down button? Ah, L1 and R1. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so pro move, when you're playing a airplane game, you gotta slow yourself down if you wanna turn on a dime. Oh, oh is that a good guy? This soundtrack is killing me. And I don't want it to stop. Alright, who's this? What's this yellow dot? I need to bust some fools. I need to crack some skulls. Like this. He didn't know who you're messing with. Maximum agility. <laughs> I'm permanently changing the terrain with these. Whatever I am shooting. Canisters of explosives. All right, and then we get the hell out of there fast as hell. All right. Okay, maybe I'll turn this down just to scotch. I don't want to do it, but I think it might be for the best. Oh, well, we ran out of those. I don't. I don't. Oh, they got a little power-ups here. Solo is insane. Eric's in the chat. Effin' hate these kind of games, but this soundtrack kind of rips. I'm gonna have to grab this. <laughs> I think you should. Especially if you can just red book audio it. And I agree. I'm not a, a particularly huge fan of these types of games. I did, for some reason, enjoy... One of the, I think, Ace Combat games. But yeah, by and large, <laughs> not a big fan. Oh, I can shoot my own rocket. This is my rocket. <laughs> I like, uh, okay, is this a good guy or a bad guy? Well, it doesn't matter now. Friend or foe, everyone must feel my wrath. Oh, man, that's a good way to take down a helicopter. All right, let's, of course, see how high we can go. Altitude 1000. God damn, the soundtrack is ripping. Ripping is correct. Does my official copy of the disc and my original PlayStation have features that uh, have texture smoothing? Um, wink, wink, hintity hint. Uh, it might. Uh, I know I've got some 
scan line stuff turned on, but uh, I don't know if I... Um, if you search for Mednathin, that's the, uh, the keyword there, and then there's a front end called Mednath. M-E-D-N-A-F-F-E. It's a front end that lets you actually use it. Um... I think just by default, this is what it looks like. I, I know I've turned on the scan lines because I, I like the way it looks a bit. Good lordy! I gotta, gotta use that yaw. You guys remember Gran Turismo 2? There was, in the options, yaw. Yaw steering, which is basically strafing in a vehicle. Which vehicle had the yaw steering? That's what I want to know, because I never found it. Oh lordy, I can go 4 hundo? Oh, we are so screaming along now. This is everything I've ever wanted. Alright, can we crash? No, you can't even crash in the game. Alright, after the solo, we'll play another game. I'm just flying through trees. All right, let's just enjoy the solo. Oh, Eric's killing it in the chat. I'm glad someone's actually chatting. All right, Jesus, the solo. God damn, that's a good one. I'm, I almost hate to turn it off. It's gonna be system shock. All right, everyone, race yourself. Hate to do it. I don't wanna be that guy, but uh, you know. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so that was uh, F111 Aardvark, The Edge of Warrior. Um, I'd say that is a really good early PlayStation game. Really good. Alright, so we got some tunes here. Eric's in the chat, of course. Uh, my longtime friend, Eric Dude, says this just looks better than what I expect from a PS1 game of this ilk. I agree, that did actually look a lot better. And, and I don't actually remember exactly how many jaggy uh, lines there were on the original, but I know some of these modern emulators correct that in a weird way, but I don't know if I have that turned on or if it's on by default. Um, he says, Gran Turismo 2 was a huge disappointment. This is on Twitch, by the way. Gran Turismo 2 is a huge disappointment, so I didn't get that far, or dig that far. Weird. I don't remember if I thought it was a disappointment. Uh, I remember you could get the Pikes Peak Super GT car, the red one with the big fin on the back, and then basically never let go of the gas again and just win every race. And I actually was way on board with that. Um, I do remember playing a lot of Gran Turismo 3. That was a pack-in title. My friend Lee and I bought a... PlayStation 2 together, we bridged our money, because he was my roommate at the time, during grade 11, I think. Uh, and we bought ourselves a PlayStation 2 with Gran Turismo 3. Lock, or pack in title. And then he's, Eric Dude's also saying along these lines, I hope that you have the Red Book audio of Lords of Thunder. I don't on hand, but I know exactly what you're talking about. I, uh, I mean, I, pro I have the game, so I can, I can acquire it very easily, but man, man alive. And by the way, is that related to Thunder Force at all? Because they're kind of similar, right? It's just like rocking, out of control rocking. Um, I can see if I have it if you want to hear it. Let's take a quick look in the archives. Content. Oh man, the archive is just so big it takes forever to open. While I'm doing that, uh, not at all related. All right, well, Thunder, Thunder, yeah. Thunder and Rock. Um, I think I played Lords of Thunder on Sega CD a couple of streams ago. And it was pretty rad. That's the one where you can get close to the guys and you have the melee attack. Music. Let's go video game soundtracks. Letting everyone down. I don't have it on my computer. What a shame. Yeah, I mean, the, the shmup aspect was also confusing me. All right, let's continue on. 
So, VMAX. I don't think VMAX is actually a real game. Uh, or they changed the name of it, that's right. So what did they change the name to? Uh, go back to the gameplay zone. And let's look at the games list. Oh, that's right, they changed it to Cyber Speed. Oh, we will play VMAX then. Looks exactly like... Uh, Cygnosis's Wipeout. If it's a racing game, then that's kind of silly. Goddamn base. Base player would be losing his mind trying to play this. Um, damn good times. Yeah, dude. Um, Lee is saying he's actually in the chat. My old roommate. Um... Yep, we had that, and uh, Gran Turismo 3 and Gradius 3 and 4 pack in, or together, because it was a budget title. It was like 30 bucks, and we played the heck out of that. I don't think I ever came close to beating Gradius 4. Or Gradius 3, for that matter. I think Twisted Metal Black was also one that we bought right away. That was a good get. A lot of money to get the PlayStation 4. I think that might have been like... Might have, might have been the first console I ever bought with my own money. Probably you as well, Lee. Uh, Alright, what the hell am I doing here? We're gonna play VMAX Cyber Speed. VMAX Cyber Speed. Or Cyber Speed Way. Alright, we could be risking it. Is Cyber Speed Way the same as Cyber Speed? We'll find out together. Is this a Saturn game? Did I have to switch it over to Saturn? Alright, fine. Play it on Saturn, I don't care. Did I actually call it a Saturn game? Did Saturn just have its own cyber speed? Oh no, cyber... Alright, well you know what? Is this the same game? Alright, hold on. Hold on, everyone. I might be a sloppy streamer, but I'm not that sloppy. We're gonna solve this while we listen to shredding bass lines. Cyber Speed is a separate game on PlayStation. Alright. Consummate professional streamer. So if at if any moment if my green screen falls down, it's really gonna suck. I mean, I'm in this ripping hot nightclub. We're all, of course, uh, social distancing back there. Um, no one's touching. No one's breathing. No one's blinking. We run a tight ship here. Oh my lord. This is uh, a little loud. This is a little loud. And I'm not going to stand for it. Okay? God damn. Lee, of course, in the YouTube chat saying Twisted Metal Black was revolutionary. I agree. At the time, goddamn. That was the rain effect what comes at you when you're driving towards it. My mind was blown. Blown! In this acid bass. Actually, it's more of a lead. Okay, this CG's not filling me with confidence. This also looks exactly like Wipeout. What are they doing? Although, what if this is better than Wipeout? And this is the game no one played. Spikes! Alright, let's... Done our due diligence. We checked out the cutscene. Now it's time to get real. Is this... This is Cyber Speed. Oh, what that is. Okay, I'm on board with this track. Let's check the uh, Twitch chat real quick. Uh, Eric saying uh, in Twitch, of course, GTA 3 was solid, and he pre-ordered the PS2. Think it was the same for him, the first one that you bought. Yeah, that was a big deal, right? That was a, a big moment. Speedway is a Saturn game. The soundtrack is super corny. All right, good thing we didn't play that one yet, because this sounds like it's going to be pretty good. This is dance club music. This is what it looks like when I'm at the dance club, everyone. Kind 
That sounds like a Shakira track or something. Let's race. Let's quit effing around. Let's start acting responsible. It's time to choose your team. Hey, Gucci. Pearl. Yeah. Nadia. Not all lady crew here? I gotta pick a lady. All right, we're going Pearl. 18 year old, oh, that's gross. That's gross, guys. Maybe things are different in the far flung future. But right here, right now, that seems a little Three, weird that she'd even be driving two, a car. One, go! Whoa, what the hell is this? Eight laps to go. Why is there no sound effect for your vehicle? Whoa! Oops, and I've already blown it. There goes my lead. What do you expect? You got an 18 year old woman driver. <laughs> Oops, I missed my power ups. Lousy Sunday drivers. Okay, this soundtrack is oddly well produced at the very least. All right, I got the blue pearl. Does this make you go faster? Are you saying that I can dodge bullets? You really just have to hold the button down. You go around the corners on your own. I don't know why you would rotate for any reason. I'm saying that when you're ready, you won't have to. Morpheus! I'm just Five laps to go. not even pushing a button. The game plays itself. I'm getting played. No wonder no one heard about this game. There's gotta be something to this. Can you go faster? What am I doing here? Great corner. Eh, backward view, that's rare. Oh, I turned around. That is not ideal. And whoopsies. Four laps to go. Oh, only four laps to go. I'm really I'm in the running here. Like you guys are already lapping me, you don't need to rub it in. A hole. Eric's in the chat saying there has to be some smoothing going on here. You're probably right. That's definitely HD memory then, because like I can't remember. Did, did PlayStation games look like this? But I also, uh, you got a good. Uh, Eric dude has a great collection of video games. For those that don't know. I'm sure he's played a lot more PlayStation games recently than I have. I forget. I'm a victim of HD memory now. Can I just shoot indefinitely? Gotcha. He's like, what? You're not even in the race anymore. What's your problem, a-hole? I don't like your attitude. That's my problem. Oh, I guess, okay. You're just supposed to be dodging bullets while you're doing this? Last lap. All right. Uh, so far, we're in eighth place. Not the best. Whoa. I don't know if there's a way to be doing any better than I am doing currently. Fine. Uh, it's a really great game. Look at those effects. What? Well, with that stunning performance, I don't think we need a reprisal. Uh, gotta be some confirmed shovelware. Yeah, hey, probably buddy, some shovelware going on here. Going? It's hard though, when you go back and look at it now, it didn't, that didn't look that much different than Wipeout to me, other than like, it didn't work. Like, it wasn't a functional game, really. Driving age in Canada is 16, I think. But uh, they have a graduated licensing now where um, you can get your L when you're 16. And I think you have to drive with an L for, like, two years or something like that. And an L means you always have to have an adult in the car with you. Like, you can't drive with anyone but an adult. And then when you get your N, which is after your L, you're still only able to drive with a certain amount of people in your car, and they all have to be licensed as well. And you need that for like two years as well or something. Um, I got in just after they got rid of... Like, they've been making it more and more strict since then, but... Yeah, I mean, I just thought, this 18-year-old... Why would she be in charge of this vehicle in this race? It seems a little weird. Maybe her parents were rich. Yeah, Eric's got a uh, actual PS1 hooked up in his CRT right now. Cutscenes don't look that good, he says. <laughs> Confirm. All right, everyone. Um, this diet 
Sprite is going right through me. And I can't handle another high octane race. So we're gonna cut to the be right back scene that I made. I spent all my time on, and we're gonna listen to this tune in the background. Enjoy. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Juicy fruit, it's gonna move ya. It's got the taste, it, get, it goes right through ya. What happened to me? Don't let it happen to you. Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. We're reading the July 1995 issue of Game Pro Magazine. We're having a great time listening to some ultra techno music real enigma beat going on here actually I don't know what I'm talking about maybe I'm maybe that's dead wrong but well, we're gonna call it quits on that game V max whoa Getting out of hand here I think we can do a little better why don't we get real and listen to a little John Madden for Sega Genesis Oh man! All right, that was Vmax, and they say, like Cygnosis, Mindscape will set its PlayStation mind uh, toward high-tech racing. Vmax means velocity maximum. Okay, a little loud, maybe. Let's get real here, everyone. Uh, of course, the competition is trying to. Uh, I guess was that a was that a cart racer? I shot at people. I was on rails though, that's not normal. That's not normal. Wipeout had a better sense of speed and track design. It was just more inspired. That's Eric on Twitch. I agree. He's a wise game gamer. He's seen a lot. He owns the entire Super Nintendo collection. You gotta respect that. That's some That's a gaming historian right there. Very few can match that. Damn, listen how heavy that is. So, check this out. This was definitely a magazine I owned back in the day, having a subscription to GamePro. And they say here, Twisted Metal and Destruction Derby all at once. Now, I seem to recall in grade 7 taking this issue of the magazine with me to class and showing it to people, saying like, this is what's coming, this is what's coming. And, uh, I don't, I don't, maybe I was like way too... I don't know. That seems like a, a nerdy thing to do. I remember showing it to people that weren't really big into games. Like, look, man, you can actually drive around in this game. You can drive from anywhere. It's not a racing game. You drive around. You're in control. Well, this seems pretty cool, I guess. What the hell? Razor Wing? It looks exactly like the last two games I played. I don't think I'm going to play it. I don't actually think it came out for Sony PlayStation. Although it says it's by Sony Computer Entertainment. Something funny's going on. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Right after we look at what's next. Uh, or no, is it on the list? Starblade Alpha. Okay, well let's check it out. Uh, unless there's a game on here you guys see that it's calling your name. 
I won't judge. Secretly, I will judge. Oh my god. That guy wanted to play Warhammer Fantasy Battle. Eric Dude in the chat says, Nothing on PS1 excited him until Final Fantasy VII. That was a special game, though. I don't. You're a few years older than me, maybe a couple years older than me. But I remember at my age, when Final Fantasy VII came out, it was like the most adult-themed game that I'd ever uh, played. And I remember playing it by myself, and it was like, there were no adults around, it was just me. And they were like, throwing these adult themes at you. And I don't mean like, rated X, Cloud, stripped down to his bare buns. No. Uh, I'm talking Cloud in a gondola ride with Red 13. Hot. Um, no, there was like, there was like sexual references, like, uh, Cloud when he dresses up as a girl to get through, uh, certain areas. I can't remember why he had to do that. Um, I remember there was some swears in it, too. That was like a big deal. Hey, we got Joofs in the chat. Final Fantasy Tactics, man. That was a good one, too. I, uh, I instead got fully invested in Vandal Hearts instead of Final Fantasy Tactics. They're very similar games. Um, I stand by that decision. I actually, to this day, I've never beaten Final Fantasy Tactics. I've played like a, a handful of the battles. It, it's basically exactly like Vandal Hearts, as far as I can re remember. I could be losing a bunch of fans when I say that. I do like turn-based strategy games, though. Shining Force, Sega Genesis. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dead to me, he says. That's, that's it, just log off. They're uh, losing followers. I'm hemorrhaging followers left and right. I mean, I'll say whatever it takes. That's my favorite game. Then we're gonna play some Starblade Alpha. I don't know what this game is, actually. I didn't even test it out. It might not even work. We're risking it all. Take the plunge with me, everyone. Because we're about to go. To Starblade Alpha. It kind of ruins the effect when I have to click four buttons first. Um, let's see if it's actually extracted. I mean, if the jewel case is in my pile of jewel cases over here that I will plug in to my actual PlayStation, which runs HD into my computer. High tech. Green screen tech. You know, this is a high tech stream. No expense was spared. What the hell am I doing? Starblade Alpha. Starblade Alpha. We got it. I got him. Jesus, this is a 700 meg CD. Now I gotta go play again. Are you playing some games, Ivan? Get your bun in there. Gotta get ranked. Pro level. Or you mean you gotta play <laughs> uh, Tactics. You can play it, or you can replay it a million different times trying different combos and classes. Or do like Squire only runs. So fun. Eric Dude saying he uses that soundtrack as thinking music. You guys are building it up here. Okay, well if you were... How many battles do you think it takes to get into the game? Because Vandal Hearts, it was one battle. The first person you kill, the death animation is like... I'm sold forever. I'm forever a fan of this game. Um... Buy it on your phone. I don't buy things on my phone. I use all these old jewel cases over here. Hard, hard coded... CDs. Oh, okay, Eric wants to play some Nosferatu next. All right. Takes about 10 battles. Yeah, I think that was what, and it, there was some complicated thing, like your birth month or something was like a, a factor in the game. I couldn't really wrap my head around it. Um, so it kind of went by the wayside. All right, since no one knows what Starblade Alpha is, we're gonna put that one on the back burner for a split second, and we're gonna dive in to Nosferatu, which, by the way, has quite the soundtrack. I don't know if that's... Uh, Eric, do you have a special reason why you're requesting Nosferatu? Because, uh, in my case, I would say it's because of the soundtrack. Pretty rad soundtrack. It's savage. I'm trying to actually load up the soundtrack right now real quick, because I want to know who the composer is. It was someone. I enjoyed it from the start, but I'm a sucker for tactics games, Eric says. But did you play Vandal Hearts, Eric? 
or Cartia for that matter. Because those were two other ones that I, I played through start to finish. I guess I like the weirdies, the ones that aren't the, the main ones. XCOM 2, man, was that a turn-based strategy? Like a grid, or was that like an open, open field one? Ivan saying that, by the way. Gears Tactics was junk, he says. All right, um, let's get the SNES archive going here. SPC sets, RSN sets, this is an awful. Nosferatu. Let's extract. Fine, just play it. For the love of God, just put it on the thing. All right, here's some Nosferatu. Seta. Did they say who the composer is? Artist Masanao Akahori. Listen to this. And it's FM based on the Super Nintendo, so they sampled it. Frick. I mean, we're about to play it, so we're gonna hear this, but... Let's, let's hear the boss theme. That percussion... God damn. Oh, Eric's never played Vandal Hearts, he says. Cartia, he said he played and was a little bland. Yeah, Cartia was like poor man's Vandal Hearts, in my opinion. But Vandal Hearts, like I played it through several times. Really big fan of Vandal Hearts. Um, but yeah, it just turn on Vandal Hearts, the first, the first map, the first enemy you kill, which I think is part of the cutscene. You'll see immediately what's so infectious about the game. The, like one of the best death animations I, I can recall. It's so satisfying. There's blood, a lot of it. You wouldn't think so. All right, let's play some uh, Nosferatu now. We're quit effing around, Jesus. Well, actually, I'll leave the soundtrack on while I open up the folder. Now I have to dive into the labyrinthian folder structure. I mean, get the cart uh, from my pile of carts right here. And plug it into my Super Nintendo. Victory! Stage two. This is stage two. God damn. All right, Nosferatu. All right, let's do it. Of course, this Super Nintendo pauses when I'm not looking at it. Seta, Eric, do you know any other games Seta has made? I don't recognize that company. When the moon is dyed in blood, a bat departs from the forbidden castle into the night. Wait, we can do this better. Having changed from its human form to seek its next victim. Wait, we can do it even better. Even better. Whoa, Mode 7 graphics! God damn! Hell yeah. His name is whispered in fear. Nosferatu, creature of night. FM base, all night long. Few have seen his face and lived to speak of it. Few have heard him play his synthesizer. None who have ventured nearer his resting place had- Oh, I missed it. Every night, transforming into a bat or wolf, he seeks innocent blood. A vampire. This is really good cutscene. None know the victim's fate of those taken to his distant and forbidden castle. God damn. This is some Symphony of the Night action. Except one who seeks to end the terror and rescue his love makes his way to the accursed place with his FM synthesizer. I'm on board. Let's do that. All right, let's get real. Nosferatu. Diving right in. Drawing a blank right now on the Seda. Yeah, me too. Could be a hidden gem, Eric says. We'll see. Could fail to deliver on its promise. Well, I'll say right away, these are some of the most striking cutscenes I've seen on the Super Nintendo. So I think it's kind of like a flashback style game. Whoop! 
Oh man, look at that time. I'm in deep trouble. Wow, did I solve the first puzzle already? I'm pretty pro at video games, guys. You don't even realize. Whoa, spooky! Whoa. Wait, we can do this better. I'm in a dark dungeon. There's creepy crawlers down here! I don't want to touch them! Yo, but I found some crystals. It's a good thing I got a sick vert. Close call. Oh, the giant millipede is coming after me. Hey, lady. Werewolves! Do I have an attack? I don't think I do. Alright. We escaped their patrol. Don't double tap forward, because then you will run. Go in the door. I can't get in any doors. Alright, we got in the door. Ooh, I like that. That's a nice touch. That's surprisingly immersive. Okay, we got the blue crystal. The werewolves are unaware that we are in this room. I'm leaving the room. And Jesus Christ. Can I enter this door? No. Don't fall in the hole. Unless you want to sleep on a pile of skulls. Which, of course, I do every night. But that's not the point. We're going upstairs. Onto the second floor. So nervous. Oh, wait, this is outside. God damn, let's see tunes. I don't like that I don't have. Oh, I do have an attack. Hell yeah, look at, look at this mother effer go. Whoop. Can I crawl? Is there a crawl button? L1, R1, triangle. Proto survival horror. I agree. I think you're on to something there, Eric. Okay, why? I bet you have to crawl under there, but I only have 30, 73 seconds. What the hell's gonna happen here? Okay, what happens if I hit select? Anything? No? All right, we're in a bad way, guys. I gotta get back downstairs. Can I, uh, can't go back in the door? Enter. All right, run full speed. It's the only way. Oh, and yeah, it's not the only way. Okay. Down and triangle, down and circle, X, square, R, L, select. Two buttons at once? Is there, oh my lord. All right, open. God damn, all right, what's going on with these candles? Is there something I should look at here? No. What about this little brown thing? Is this a thing? Oh my god, am I gonna die in this game already? Okay, do I have to jump into the wall? Uh, I like how there's a dash and push button. That's kind of cool. In the door. Oh, do I have to push down? No. Every game had, like, just let up be the button you press. Oh, man, I got karate kicks. Who knew? Use the graveyard duck. Use the graveyard duck. Got a legit boxing stance, he says. We're going to try this again. I think there's something to this game. Definitely Prince of Persia riffs, he says. Agreed. Yo, get down there. We gotta, we gotta hustle, man. Oh, that's not how you do it. All right, get up there. Typically, I'm not a big fan of these games. Like the Prince of Persia flashback. I did kind of like flashback. But... All right, do I need to get the treasure? I don't know what I'm collecting. Do these crystals do anything? Whoa. Open. Alright, I'm gonna punch the heck out of these fools. Oh, yeah! I like that. That feels good. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Alright, they're apparently passive. Oh, god damn. I'm gonna punch a maniac over here. Alright, we're not gonna go upstairs. I did... Because apparently the door locks behind you and you can't do anything. Look, see, up goes in a door here. Okay. Oh, DBs. Oh, punch that DB. See how this DB likes a three-hit combo to the... Oh, whoops. Oh, man. I tried to give him the karate kick. Didn't work. 
All right, what is, what in the hell? Hey, you don't know who you're messing with, fool. Oh, and he's gonna zombie tackle me. All right, let's get out of here, because he's, see, up lets me go out that door. All right, we're gonna risk it all. If I can't get through the door, we're gonna have to say this game, this game's a little odd. Yeah, I do love... Uh, I never played Blackthorn, actually. Eric saying he likes Flashback as well. Not so much Prince of Persia. What about Out of This World? Alright, is there anything I can do? Like, there should be a... Prone Crawl, it feels like. Hey. Aha! How did I do that? gonna kill himself on this wall before he can do it. Alright, do I just hit... Whoops! Alright, do I... I hit two buttons at once, so maybe I have to do that. Alright, it's for some reason both Y and B. I don't know what their rationale is. Hell yeah! Alright, I'm back on board. What are you messing with? God damn. Oh, and he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Hopefully they start me on that screen, but knowing that this is an old game, they probably don't. Yeah. One more time. We're gonna give it one more time. We're gonna power through this. We're gonna see what's on the other side. Run, you fool. Fly, you fool. Upsy doodle. Run like the wind. I like when games let you run past enemies. Like, yeah, you don't have to fight them. Don't worry about it. Hustle your A in gear. Move it. Proctor, move it, move it, move it. All right, we know what we're doing now, guys. We're pro ace at this. Whoopsie doodle. Maybe I'll actually just save state it. I actually want to see what's next. Go run with all your might. God dang it. Hell yeah. All right, all right. I mean, I have one of those Japanese uh, or those weird uh, bootleg Super Nintendos that you could save games on. That's what my Indonesian friend says. He used to rent pirated games from a pirated video store in like the Chinatown. Cause they had this weird thing, This do it's called Doctor Something, and you actually plugged in, I think, like floppy disks on top of the, the plug-in, and then you could play rented pirated games. That's super... Uh, like, just... Oh, whoops. It's a pretty dark thing to do. Good animation in this game. Eric, I think you might have to check this one out. Because of this. It's weird that the werewolves are way shorter than I am. Hell yeah. Wait, can I pick this up by... doing something? Is there a button for that? All right. Who wants to bet I die here? Uh, what button? Yeah. Oh, and yeah, I tried to run and it did not work out. Good thing I saved it. Okay, let's just do it the sensible way. All right, we got Frankenstein here. I bet you're supposed to stay in the hole instead of fighting him. Can I kick him in the butt? I bet you can't kill Frankenstein. But you just have to take it on the chin. Run, you fool. Oh, dear Jesus. Oh, Lord, baby Jesus. Oh, no, you can kill him. And then pick up his sweet, sweet crystal. Somehow. Hey! Uh, they are really getting their mileage out of this sliding technique. Whoa! Oopsies. I lost a crystal! Oh, jeez. I jump up here? Is there something up here? Is there something behind that bush we should beat up? Leap! All right, we'll see what's in this room, then we'll call it a day on Nosferatu. 
Hmm. Ah, puzzle element. Others would have just given up. Not me, man. Alright, what happens if I jump all the way down? Wait, is there a secret? Did I get more stuff in there? There's just more stuff in here? Yeah, he can survive that fall. But can he survive this fall? <laughs> leap! I said leap. Alright, you have to leap from back here. Leap! Oh, dear Jesus! Alright, we'll see what's up these stairs. Oh, oh, sweet! You can just shoulder check these guys. Oh, boss time! Here we go! Shoulder, shoulder bump you all day, bro. Oh, he scythed me in the head. All right, we gotta, we gotta pull more drastic measures on this guy. Like my spin kick, my karate kick from the Karate Kid. Miyagi, show me the crane kick. If done proper, no can defense. Oh Jesus, Lord Jesus, no Jesus. All right, well, that's Nosferatu. I gotta say, that is a sleeper hit. That's a sleeper hit, and I'm glad I played it. Good call, Eric. All right. We're checking out the uh, YouTube chat. My brother's in there saying, XCOM 2 was amazing, spent many hours. Was that the Xbox 360 era one? Or, yeah, I think it was 360, maybe? Let's get some tunes going while I'm sitting here sipping on my Saudi pop. You guys didn't get enough Nosferatu? Here's some more. It's not bad. I almost wish Red Bull would just come out with a caffeine-free Red Bull. I'd buy that. Um it's intriguing, but the controls seem pretty sluggish, Eric says. Yeah, I would agree. You have to put up with a little clunkiness. I'm not going to say this is, uh, this is a game you want to devote a lot of time to, but soundtrack's ripping. Animation is very smooth. CG cutscenes. Probably upper, upper, upper echelon on the SNES as far as I'm concerned. Um, all right, let's go back to the magazine. Right, we were about to embark upon Starblade Alpha. Namco's rolling out its arcade hits. Starblade Alpha, currently out in Japan, will feature the same first-person fixed-path shoot-em-up gameplay as the arcade, Sega CD, and 3DO versions of Starblade. The Alpha reference in the title manifests as two extra missions and CD-juiced sound. I like my CDs extra-juiced. That works for me. All right, let's uh, let's close our Super Nintendo. Closed, and let's pop open our PlayStation and plug the disc in, and we're ready to rock. We're ready to Barack Obama. And there we go. Starblade is what inspired Star Fox, I believe, is what Eric Dude is saying in the chat. That's intense. I hope that's accurate, because that really puts it into perspective. So it must have been in the arcade in 1991, then. This was in the arcade in 1991? Even that title screen looked a little high-tech. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Definitely some Star Fox vibes. And obviously the name. Man, if they were inspired by it and then they called it Star Fox, it's pretty cheesy. Um, I don't know what I'm picking here. This is Mothership. 
Oh, hell yeah, they got two versions, the original and the beefed up one. Let's check them both out. I want to check out the original. Because if it inspired Star Fox, I want to see what it looked like. That's some pro-level fiction, or uh... Starblade. Calling Starfighter Geosword. Uh, Geosword. Geosword. Factoids. The enemy task force, mechanized planet Red Eye, just reached the Federation of Planets. Sounds exactly like Star Fox. Any, any, out. Prepare to launch. Neutralize Red Eye and defeat the menace to our mother planet. Aim at the power source generator of Red Eye. All energy converges on the Power Stone, which is inside of Octopus. Good luck, Geosword. Oh. Good luck, Octopus. All right, execute operation. Let's go. Scramble. Let's go. God damn. This looks like a cutscene. Oh no, it was in. Oh, then it's just an on-rails shooter. Now that's interesting. Well, that makes more sense because this is how you could get a game this sort of high level earlier in the arcade. Like Jesus. Alright, well that also, good big ups to Nintendo for the, going like, you know what, we can do this, but we don't need to have it all be a cutscene that just plays in the background. I have better weapons, can I do anything cooler? Oh, Jesus! This is funny, this looks exactly like Star Fox. Or Star Fox looks exactly like this. Oh, they're all going in the hyperdrive, let's go! Hell yeah. Lack of sound effects. I wonder if that's like something on the emulator or what. Oh yeah, we're ace. I'm gonna do so well in this game, the, the last Starfighter is just gonna call me. If this is the last you hear of me, you'll know what happened. Like we found the one. The Guardian. We're finally ready to fight the alien battle. Did you see how fast he could jiggle his thumb back and forth on the two buttons? It was so fast, man. Cause they're all surfers. Dude. What's up with the new Bill and Ted's movie coming out? Anyone else uh, feel like it's just too depressing? Like, I hope they are smart now, because if they're still stupid, then it's depressing. You guys had a time machine, and you're still, like, imbeciles? It kind of makes me feel bad for them. Maybe I'm reading into it too much. Team leader! Yeah, this would blow some minds in the arcade in 1991. I guess it's just exactly like the, uh... Star Wars games, only they filled in the graphics. Oh lordy. Well now I'm, uh, I'm curious, now we have to know. Whoa, okay we'll see what that enemy's doing. This is so much like that second level in Star Fox. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna reload, we're gonna reconfigure, and we're gonna play the updated version, because I wanna see what it looks like. All updated. All snazzy. Oh, it never gets boring. What a sound. Oh, he says this was uh, the hidden game in Tekken 5 in the loading screens, or was it just like, well, you can just play this game for no reason? Or if you beat, if you beat Kazuya, you get to play as this in this game. Gotta go, says Lee. Thanks for watching, Lee. We'll see you tomorrow, man. For some good times abound. That's on YouTube, of course. YouTube chat, Twitch chat, two separate chats. Can't combine them. What can you do? All right, now let's pick the updated version very carefully. Because I don't want to accidentally pick the Release. old one again. Well, what happened is to target Octopus. It's funny that they don't tell you. They don't even label it. Whatever. Oh, my hair here. Jesus. Prepare for Operation Starblade. Calling Starfighter Geosword. Calling Geosword. Command Geosword. The enemy a task force. Right. Mechanized. We are aborting. Final We're gonna go straight in. Engine start. 
Number one. Number two. Ah, I like that Namgo had the patent on playing games during a loading screen. That's a funny thing to have a patent on. Alright. More details. Absolutely. Lighting effects. It's funny, it's just the exact same technique, though. We are under attack. Impossible to navigate. Team Starblade, pursue and engage the Starblade, quit shooting our mothership. Alright. There we go. Could, why would you be, as an audio engineer, satisfied with that sound effect? Weep, 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 weep. Take the right one, Geosword. I'll take the left one. It's over. Really phoning in the voice acting. Wee wee wee! Oh lordy. Am I gonna get this guy? Ah, I didn't get him. I didn't get him in time. Pursue and engage with him. Geosword warp point is located. Coordinate set at W726. Whoa, that was close. Warning. Whoa, Jesus. Warning. What are we doing here? Enemies defense line. Geosword, come in, Geosword. This is Team Leader. This is Team Leader. What are you looking at here? What are these red things? Alright, it was very similar to the other one. I just wanted to see how it how it stacked up. That's a fun one to check out. I've never actually uh, played that. I don't even think in Tekken 5 I played that. We're going to listen to some Dragon... I don't remember the English name of this, but... I you didn't set you too. Let's keep it real. Yeah, it looks like they just added textures to the polygons. Eric's in the chat. Question. Question in their motives and methods. All right, well, let's move it along. Uh, going back to the game magazine. They got an Earthbound ad here. I don't know if you guys remember, but this. I don't know if the game itself came with it, or if it was the, the issue of the magazine, but it came with a scratch and sniff that had weird smells on it, and one of them was mushrooms. One of them smelled like mushrooms. Tom Green had a, uh, a VHS tape that came out that I can't remember what it was called, but uh, it had a scratch and sniff on the VHS sleeve that smelled like literal poo. <laughs> Bold. Uh, maybe this is a little loud. It's good, good soundtrack. Let's get into something a little more rocking. Um, funny story too. Yeah, I remember we visited my dad uh, every summer. We would see him in Calgary. My parents lived in separate provinces for uh, a good month in the summer. And I remember he asked, like, "Well, what game do you want for your birthday?" And I said, "Earthbound," because I knew my friends were gonna buy Chrono Trigger. So it's like, all right, if I get Earthbound and you guys get Chrono Trigger, then at least we'll be able to trade games and we'll uh, we'll be able to play um, more RPGs. So I was like, I'll take the hit. I want Chrono Trigger, obviously, but I'll get Earthbound because it was a really good RPG as well. We used to actually pool our money together, get like five bucks each, uh, me and uh, my friends Ryan, Darren, and Lee, um, and we would get we would rent as many RPGs as we could and play them all. So. Uh, this was one of the ones we played, and uh, all of us were like, this is awesome, because you get to actually walk around what looks like modern worlds. Like, most RPGs take place in, like, fantasy past, like the ancient medieval fantasy, like Japan's medieval stuff. And uh, not a lot of games actually take place in the modern realm. And so that was one thing that was like, whoa, you can actually go to an ATM and get money out? My mind is blown. Um, Eric's in the chat saying it was the strategy guide that smelled. He's got all the trivia. Just played Chrono Trigger again. Yeah, I saw you had some tr Chrono Trigger on your, uh, your, uh, what do you call them? I don't know what the Twitch lingo is, but when you, your stream archives in Twitch. It sucks that they only keep them for like three weeks. What a pain in the butt. Um, Ivan also in the chat saying he bought Final Fantasy VI as well. Oh, did you buy them legit? Like on cart? Super Nintendo? Good for you. Same game, by the way. I and Densetsu 2. Oh, Jesus. There's more stuff here. So, here's something we might be able to do. Zeitgeist. Zeitgeist. I think there's actually... What am I talking about here? I'm all over the place. I know there was something wrong with the title. Um... Was that... Lone Soldier. I wanted to play this because it looks kind of cool, but 
I remember it's called something else. All right, you know what, guys? We have to, once again, do the research. Zeitgeist PSX. Let's see what the hell happened in this game. Oh, maybe I just didn't... I didn't put it on the list, but you know what? It's in the list. So we're going to check it out. What does it say? Let, maybe I'll do that first. You may need a dictionary to grok the title. I need a dictionary to grok your grok. What does grok mean? I know what zeitgeist means. Um, should be a no-brainer for thumb jockeys everywhere. You'll toggle from a cock view p view or cockpit view to a cock view. Yeah. Uh, to an overhead view. It looks like a rain, massive laser fire upon squadron. Zeitgeist. Looks exactly like Starblade, but it looks like you actually play this one, which is probably objectively more fun to watch. God damn the soundtrack. God damn! Alright, let's see if we can find it. Games. Was it Japan only? Is that why it was kind of weird? Eh, we'll soon see. Yeah, Japan only. That's fine. Because we have the technology. But I do have to go to a folder first. Eh, while we're here, good tunes abound. Judge Shred was just about to come out. July 1995. These headphones are so tight, they're like hurting my jaw. Oh. Ah. It's a good era for games. Good era for playing games as a teenager as well. Because you got to experience all the radness. Alright, what's up with the zips here? Extract Zeitgeist. Bin and Q files. Better be there. And they are. Well, let's see. We're risking it all. We're going off script. We're going to play some Zeitgeist. Off, off script. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I showed everyone, but... This is the screenshot we're dealing with. I want to see it. Let me see them. Looks just like the game we just played, but with actual graphics. All right, let's get on board. I uh, don't need the games list on anymore. Decent graphics. I like the... Japan, like anime style spaceships. I'm sold so far. Big battle happening. Things are about to go down. Oh, damn. All right, we don't have a lot of time. We're diving in. We're getting right to the meat. All right, Tato, Taito. Every song in every game we play tonight sounds exactly the same. Uh, right, Eric said the game guide for uh, Earthbound came with the game. That's right, it was a huge box. Never understood that as a kid. When I saw it in the rental store, he said, yeah. Because that there was one part in Earthbound, I don't know if you've beaten the game, but the guide is necessary to beat the game. Because there's at one point you walk through a desert that's like 10 screens wide. 10 screens up, like just this huge desert, and there's one black pebble somewhere in it, and the, the guide tells you exactly where the pebble is. But if you don't have that guide, you're basically, you're walking through that desert. Oh, I like this. This is happening. All right, for some reason it's clipping like crazy, so I'm gonna save your ears. And we're just gonna turn that down a scooch. All right. Jesus! Jesus Louises! I don't know what is going on here. Am I winning? Are you winning, son? Is there a better weapon that I have? Should I be shooting something else at? What in the frick? I can't believe I didn't beat him. I, I was literally rolling my thumb over every button.
Okay, I don't know what attack I'm doing that is doing that. But it's one of them. Fire! This is kind of like uh, Panzer Dragoon. Can I crash? No. Alright, this is not, uh, not that bad, actually. Not that bad at all. Oh, can I go through this? Yes. High level details. Look at these god rays. <laughs> this pilot's a little all over the place. Look at him. Jesus Christ! get this guy and we'll call it a day. Come on. Come on. Come on, we gotta get this guy. We did it. We whipped him. That's not bad. Eric's gotta go. Thanks for taking, uh, take it easy, buddy. Thanks for playing. Playing us for Roger. No, my pleasure, man. Glad you were watching. Uh, we'll catch you next time, dude. Good chatting with you. Been a while. Hope you guys are all okay. Everyone's okay. COVID style. What a weird and wild time. Good lord, they killed me. And you know what? What? Am I am I for sure dead? Yes, I am. Well, that game was loud. That game was clicking. All right, we did our due diligence. We played Zeitgeist. I bet you guys didn't think I'd play Zeitgeist, right? When you flipped on that page, you're like, no way he's going to play Zeitgeist. But I did. So I'm all about it. We got to do what we got to do. If I don't, who will? You know? All right, let's hear a little Heavy Nova. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Nova. Alright, let's get back to the magazine. Okay, so last week I mistakenly said that this was a Saturn-only game. And that was why I remember seeing this game in the magazine and going like, Saturn is gonna be the one only. I guess I was misremembering it. It's been 25 years, okay? Forgive me. It's actually a PlayStation game. So it's probably another game where I'm like, uh, it's gonna be so good. Uh, it didn't end up coming out, but there are some videos of it on YouTube. Uh, people must have found like a bootleg version of it or something because there's video of it and it doesn't look that good. I mean, I would rather, I think, based on what I saw, I would rather be playing Zeitgeist. And that's no fooling. Alright, what else we got here? Uh, we played Toshinden maybe four weeks ago, five weeks ago. Check this out. This is kind of funny. Ed Boon himself glistening up uh, Liu Kang. Pretty funny. I don't. You got a lot of nerve to put this in your magazine. What am I looking at? Okay, there's a helicopter, and that's landscape. I don't know. You got some nerve. Or, no wait. You got a lot of nerve showing your face around here. Look who's talking. Name the movie. And if you're in the archive, put it in the comment section. In fact, if you're in the archive. Like the video and subscribe to my channel because I do this every week. I'm a real rascal. Um, also, for all you nuts out there, feel free to look at my band camp, see what I've been up to, all the soundtracks I've been making over the years. Anomaly goes back to 2010. Jesus. Um, Retro City Rampage isn't on there, of course, because I don't own that soundtrack. That belongs to V Blank Entertainment. But that's another one that should be on there. Uh, most recently, too, that Recursive Eons track. Mwah, what a track. What a lovely dark synth track. If I do say so myself. And I am not biased at all. Um, also, you know, this is shill time. Hey, guys, join my Patreon page, okay? Because there's quite a bonus for joining. $5 a month gets you access to the archive of Norn Rad's sealed tracks. Disney's vault has nothing on Norn Rad's vault. We did a little uh, sample a couple of weeks ago. Uh, there's some files in here that I recorded when I was as old as 18. 
goes way back. Also, it has a bunch of just uh, videos from my channel. It's a good way to keep up to date with what I've been working on. Uh, of course, the Ultra Dude tier, I, I don't know. If you're an Ultra Dude, I'll, I'll have to come up with something cool. But right now, the big appeal is the archive of unreleased tracks, which also comes with all the tracks I make from now on as well. Uh, but that's enough shilling. Um, it's just Matt Creamer audio on Patreon. Uh, but they're in a little hot water right now, Patreon, so maybe you wait and see if they don't entirely fold as a company. Uh, because they're getting sued right now, because they've been banning people left, right, and center, and the people who are subscribed to the people getting banned are suing Patreon. Getting dirty out there. But yeah, maybe don't ban people, unless you're really sure. So let's go through the magazine. It's real, oh yeah, I for some reason went to the wrong one. Uh, I really wish I could get Fahrenheit working. It looks like a really good one of those games. What am I missing here? Uh, Shadow Squadron for 32X. We're not gonna play that because it looks awful. 32X just in general, no appeal on my part. I don't have any appeal there. There's no appeal for me to want to play it. I'd rather play this game on 32X and I don't even want to play this game. Little Tom fills. All right, so we're, uh, you know what? I should have tested this first, damn it. If you'll note, let's take a little, let's just take a little gander. Follow me, everyone. Follow me. Let's take a look at the score this game got. Have you ever seen a game with a one in fun factor? How about a one in control? One in control and fun factor, but hey, a four in sound and two in graphics. Now, I don't know if this is a uh, sequel or a prequel to Ishibashi Champ or Ishibashi Panic. I can't remember. Looks like it's just one of those Mario WarioWare games like this. But we're going to see if maybe this works. I'm going to load this up in the background. You guys can you guys can read this at your leisure while I'm fiddling around in the folders back here cuz uh, I didn't test this one out. I really should have. But I didn't. I'm a real rascal. But I don't you guys want to see what a one in fun looks like? Cuz I do. Am I the only one? Enticed by the potential for a game so bad that it gets a zero. The lowest score you can get, because I don't think GamePro gives less than one. There's only one way to find out what a one in fun looks like. It's to load up the game. But of course it's not extracted. I mean, <laughs> it's in my pile of games. Let me uh, consult the pile. This is uh, Elemental Master, I think we're listening to. Jewel Master, sorry. Jewel Master. Uh, Panic, what's it called? Panic? Panic. Well, we have it, but we have historically had trouble playing Sega CD games on this stream. It's unfortunate. If we don't play them, who will? It's a really weird middle console. That's a good riff. All right, here we go. Let's see if it opens. Fingers crossed. Obviously the, we usually get this far. Close you, PlayStation. Open you. Close you. All right, let's see. Usually we get this far and no further. Is Panic gonna be the one? Or am I gonna have to use RetroArch? Which is kind of a pain in the butt. <gasps> Gas! Okay, they're being cute. That's very cute. Um, this is adorable. The Data East, wow. We can make this bigger. For your viewing pleasure. I'm already not a fan of this music. Oh. I hate music like this. Oh my god. Am I not locked in? Alright, here we go. We're locked and loaded. Panic! Machines have suddenly begun to malfunction. Wait. Worldwide. Machines have suddenly begun to malfunction worldwide. A nasty computer virus has created software bugs in the computer network server, which will infect every device on the planet. Planet. Oh no! 
new software program has been developed to deal with the situation. All is well. The program, codenamed PANIC, was designed to destroy the virus. Virus, virus, virus. I'm sufficiently enticed. This is already a really annoying game, though. All right, Jesus. Let's go. Oh, oh, Jesus. Start game with data. Okay. Oh, he's playing some Sega CD himself. Find the buttons that will lead you to the computer now. Oh, I missed it. All right, let's see if this one in control. Oh, Jesus. Oh, controls well enough for a mouse. What's up here? Hmm. Down? Up. Oh, no, businessmen. Do we lose? All right, let's go up. Hell's up then. It's gonna give me such a hard time about it. That's hilarious. They're actually just using <laughs> they're using a guy's voice. All right, that's pretty good. Okay. I'm on board. All right, panic. Where are we going here? The third floor. Oh, I should have hit the emergency number. Damn it. What? I don't know how the Sega's doing that. They have to hand animate that because they didn't have like transparencies and stuff. All right, we got to hit the emergency phone button, obviously. Yes. Ha. Ah. Blue. All right, fingers crossed. Oh, Lordy Jesus. It's not looking good. Things are going to get worse before they get better. We'll finish with the elevator, then we'll go to the next game. Jesus. That stomach's rumbling. How long have I been doing this? Whoa! Hey, look at the gun show on the lady in front, and I ain't hating it. Alright, I don't know what the purpose of this game is. Do I have to click the first floor? Or am I on the first floor? Oh, of course. I did not anticipate the world would look like this. Uh, uh that, this button. Oh, Lordy Jesus, no, Lord Jesus! What does this button do? PC load letter. Turn on the AC. Oh no, make it stop! Another mouth operated sound effects man. There's some charm here. I could see this being entertaining for kids, actually. It's for kids, I'm sure. This is probably before the ESRB, but at least it worked. That was panic. Now. Oh, John Madden, let's go. John Madden for Sega Genesis. Let's go back to the magazine. So here's what they had to say about Panic. Data East has come up with one of the, mo the year's most unusual puzzlers. Unfortunately, unusual doesn't equal fun. Not at all, according to them. Seeing a name like Panic, you'd expect some speed, but this game plays like molasses rolling uphill. Accurate. When the computer virus, blah, 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 we know that. Each of the, 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 supposedly the game is for uh, older audiences, but childish graphic, well, I don't know if it's for older audiences. Does it say teen, teen somewhere? It does. ESRB teen? That's where you guys messed up. 
that one could have been a three if it was for eight-year-olds. Take a lesson from old MC here. MC audio. Matt Creamer audio. God damn. This is John Madden football. And then let's hear John Madden 1992. God. God damn. Freaking John Madden football. Oh, lordy Jesus. This is an awful fighting game. This is a stinker. I uh, checked out the Genesis for... Uh, you, you know what? I'm not going to play that game because it is really awful. Unless you guys want that. If you guys want me to play awful games, I will play the awful game. Um, but this game here, I'm always... Even when this issue came out, I remember thinking, Really? Phantom 2040? Five and Fun Factor? Could that be right? Could this licensed game be a five in fun? I guess we have to find out. Unless you guys want to say otherwise. No. no one in the chat likes playing awful games. Except for Panic. That one was for me. That was a treat for me. You stuck it through. We powered through. We came out on the other side stronger. And now we're going to play Phantom 2040. What do we got here? Yep. And... These headphones are killing me. Emulator. I mean, actual cartridge. Of course. Um, this is probably not what you want to see. Super fun! Affleck used the bomb in Phantoms, yo! Anyone ever see Phantoms, the movie? It was actually really good. And I saw it before Jay and Silent Bob started making a big deal about it. I remember really liking it. Silent Hill was definitely, definitely inspired by that movie or whatever the book was. All right, let's turn off some Jod Men and let's get real. Stylish. It's a 4.5 in graphics, 4 in sound, 5 in control, 5 in fun. Robo creeps! I ain't gonna stand for it. See, look at this cutscene. It really isn't as good as Nosferatu's cutscene. Not even close. It's not a bad one, though. Really making liberal use of this SNES guitar. In fact, this is maybe a little quiet. Guys, we should probably just do the right thing. Hell yeah. Okay, let's do it. Alright, now we're sitting pretty. God dang. Alright, let's do it. Let's just play the damn game. Ooh, I like that. That's a worthy cutscene. Someone has to care. Didn't this future world have the internet? Some goofball in tights? Whatever, you just start a Twitter campaign and shut down his enemies. That's how we do it in the future. You don't need all this. You don't need to put on tights. Just make a new account on Twitter. Get verified somehow. And slander someone. Real easy way to win a battle. Metropia. I mean, they don't have their own version of Twitter somewhere here. I'm starting to really dislike Twitter. It's good if you follow professionals, but anyone that has an opinion on Twitter, hoo-hoo! <laughs> it is not worth checking out. Facebook's bad, but not as bad as Twitter. Twitter's really been bad lately. Can I get this a little bigger? Or to constantly be doing this? I mean, what the hell am I doing here? It's for your benefit, everyone. All right, what are we doing here? Let's just get into the five in control, five in fun. We have to know. I won't be satisfied until I know. Oh, okay, it's a map. What is this? No access. Why did they start you on one you can't access? What the heck can I access? Ah, university. Head on over to the university. Get some books, some coffee. 
grab yourself a java. I don't like the way that jump feels. This is not what I was expecting. What does this do? Is this like a grapple gun? You'd think you'd have a little more swinging. Oh, it's that thing from the cutscene. Can I climb walls? All right, I can do this. And then what? Up. Oh. What? Ah, oh, Jesus. Soundtrack is a little all over the place, am I right? Oh geez, I have a limited amount of ammo. That is not gonna do well. Secret area. Power Rangers inspiration here. Son of a... Da, 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 da. Uh, what's gonna happen when I run out of ammo here? Hey! Oh, he hit me in the back of the head with a bullet. You know, I had higher hopes. Yo, Brad Paul's in the chat. Be Billy Zane. Was he the guy that played Phantom? Because there was a movie, right? I keep getting it mixed up with The Shadow. With uh, Alec Baldwin. I think it was Alec Baldwin. All right, I'll push the Y button and then up on the controller and it will activate Billy Zane mode. Billy Zaney mode. Activate Billy Zane from Demon Knight. Activate Billy Zane from Titanic with full hairpiece. Activate Billy Zane from season two of Twin Peaks. Activate Billy Zane from Back to the Future, the bullies that hung around with Biff. And that's officially all the Billy Zane I know. I gotta rewatch that then. Billy Zane was in. It, was it directed? Uh, my friend Brad Paul is in YouTube chat, by the way, in this in the archive for people that are watching. Uh, was was it done by the same director as The Crow? Because now that I'm thinking back on it, it feels like The Crow to me. Because I think I saw Phantom, Phantom 2040. But maybe I'm just remembering The Shadow as well. All right. I'm in this spaceship for some reason. Do I, can I use my grapple weapon? Did Billy Zane do this in the movie? Because if he didn't, I don't want to see it. Uh, all right. Something funny is going on here. Leap! All right, this is not the ideal. Open now. I heard some sounds. Oh, we got some extra weapons here. All right, we got a little Mega Man action here. No. Punch. Induction rope. Flame retardant bullets. Or fire retardant pellets. What button shoots those? Billy Zane, you've let me down. I had high hopes. This box of crates has locked me out permanently. Can I leave this area? Is that something? And quickly down under, he says. Not the crow, but he directed Free Willy. Whoa. Brad's got the trivia. All right, we're going to the warehouse and docks where all the seedy sailors are. I'm going to crack some skulls. Okay. Can I get in this thing? Again, crates, my arch enemy.
Yeah, Billy, get your ass on the elevator. Use the L button on the L panel. Unlock your hidden Billy Zane. Uh, oh, can I... Alright, watch me cheese this game out. Can I get the flute? Oh. Guys, what in the F? What did... Can I get in this? No. That's two game. Oh, is this an elevator? Ah, gotta go in the sewer. What? All right, well, we did the warehouse and docks. Good thing we can access those. All right, maximum building. There's gotta be something going on here. Jesus. Oh, we already went to the maximum building. Good lord. All right, what did we go to? Lair and ghost jungle? No. It's dark in here. I'm in the phantom's lair. Where all my cool stuff is. I can't help but discharge my firearm in here. It's not a good idea. Why? This game is weird, man. Do maximum building. Anything over here? Industrial zone! Alright. Aha! Now we're talking. Alright, whoop. Alright, hitting the back of the head with a bullet. Doesn't stop the phantom. Billy Zane's built tough. Wait, can I get a good swing going here? Can I get a good swing dance going here? Rocking riffs. They did not say anything about the rocking riffs. Uh, climb Billy! Alright, alright. Get out, Billy. For the love of God, get out. Up, oh, and that's how you leave a level, I guess. Guys, Phantom has not impressed me. Let's return to the magazine. They said... Uh, actually, let's wait. Let's go ahead and do our transition. transition. Phantom, 4.5 in graphics. Phantom, 4 in sound. What, did Phantom pay him money or something? Big fan. There we go. Let's get some good vibes. I need to... I need to wash that taste out of my mouth. Well, I was right not to rent that game. That... that... that magazine ad made it sound like it would be a lot better than it was. And there's Nosferatu, of course. Uh, we played that a little earlier on the stream. Now they say... 3.5 in graphics. Do they mention anywhere that it's the best cutscenes on the Super Nintendo? No. With some pretty rockin' music. Oh, Hagane. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, but I've always wanted to play this game. What better time than right now? I mean, we are in the process of winding down. We got a few games left in this, maybe. It's been a good problem-free stream. You always want to make full use of that. You don't want to take your chances. Oh, we got some more chat here. Brad's in the chat saying, Did you know Billy Zane beat out Bruce Campbell for the role of Phantom? Hmm. What had Bruce Campbell done up till that point? Was it just... Had he done Army of Darkness yet? Because if he had Army of Darkness under his belt, and they're like, No, we're going to go with Billy Zane. They're lost, man. Uh, Billy Zane probably did a good job, though. Billy Zane, also a good kind of weird guy. Weird leading guy. And he says Roger Ebert ranked Phantom 3.5 out of 4 stars. Said it was one of the best looking films he'd ever seen. That's actually enticing me quite a lot. One of the best looking movies he's ever seen. Was it like special effects and stuff like Dark City? I'm gonna drink some water. Funky bass lines abound. Of course, we like funky bass lines just like we like. Sexy voices. The song is full of sexy vibes. Slapping the bass. Girl! 
I love you, girl. We beat the game. It's over. This is the ending theme for Cyberblock Metal Orange. The good vibes continue on the Rad Plays Rad Reads July 1995 Game Pro Magazine. All right, let's play some Hagane. Hagane? Hagadaz? Let's just get our Super Nintendo cart here. And let's plug it in. In USA, it's called Hagane, the Final Conflict. just starts right up. Alright, these good vibes are gonna have to wait because it's time to unleash cyborg ninja action. I like the cutscene so far. It's pretty cool. I'd say that's pretty cool. I don't hear anything. It's kind of weird. Damn! Brad Paul's gotta go. Thanks for stopping in, dude. Appreciate you with the dropping the Billy Zane facts. I was in YouTube chat, by the way. Damn! God damn, I'm so ready for this. I've heard good things about this game. Blah, nice animation. A missed opportunity to make the eye glow. Holy Jesus. Art style on this game is through the roof. Eyes glow, yes! Opportunity. Seized. I like it. This game is happening for real. So let's uh, let's really quickly look at their. Uh... They say, what did they give this game? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Four point fours across the board with a three point five in sound. It's not so good. Let's see what they were talking about. Let's get comfortable. Let's get cozy. All right, little spoiler there. That's what the game looks like. We're gonna figure it out on our own. Start the game. Nice use of synth action there. This is happening. Is this happening? Are we doing this? I like the speedy attack. Ooh, I like the downward attack. Do I have an upward attack? No. I like how you just hold the button down, you attack them the entire time. Was that a double jump? Yes, it was. Is that an attack? No. It's an evasive maneuver. Can I pick up this axe? No. Whoa! Oh, we got ninja shurikens, cyborg shuriken. I like even this ninja cyborg has a has a problem with birds. Freaking birds, man! Don't they just make the final boss of every game a bird? Might as well. All right, what do we got? Whoa! Look at this sick move I'm pulling. This game has a lot of attacks, man. I own I just want to get the bird with the downward attack. He's gonna kill me! I'm one one attack away. You know who you messing with. I need some health big time. Hagane is dead. It's fine. This is maybe not the best weapon to have. Can I switch weapons somehow? Uh, ah, there we go. There you go, bird. Quit messing with me. This is a surprisingly great game for one that I, I never played. Damn, there's birds everywhere. I think this is an instant death. I'm not gonna do well with this one.
Nice, I got a slide move too. I have got to get this weapon off. It's going to kill me. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Ah, oh, damn it. Same exact area. I'm having so much fun. Oh, I need some health. Where's the health? Not now, bird! Oh, that's health. Okay. I like how you can cancel that whenever you want. This is a really great game. I'm ashamed that I've never played it until now. Alright, let's get the sword happening. The sword seems like the way to go, man. The only thing he's missing is a diagonal downward attack from the air. Whoopsies. Alright, we're looking good here. Ah, he snuck one in on me. Son of a butt. I should have slid on him. Get the health. Yes, sir. We're gonna see what's going on. Alright, we're gonna get our shurikens going here. I don't wanna mess with this guy. Not today, bird! Am I the only one that's like completely blown away by this so far? Not today, not today. Do I have like a limit? What do I have here? Ah, okay, there's a limit to the shuriken. A limit to those. That's unlimited, but I don't know what this thing is good for. It just seems a little slow, that's all. There we go. Your spaceship is nothing compared to my sword. All right, health is the way to go. Give me the health. Get the health up. Uh, shame I can't like hit the bullets back. That would have been a nice touch. What is this? Blue. Oh, I got a new health spot. This game is loading the cool, the cool features. All right, we'll get to the. We'll find a boss. That's the idea here. Black slimes. And this little thing is gonna kill me. I don't know what this thing does. Oh, it's not a slime. It's a little ninja man. Oh, I can't do my dash anymore when I'm in the water. Ooh, I'm on my last health. This is a bad. I'm in a bad way. What? Da, 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 da. Well, I'll try to get to a boss. I can't... I can't promise to try, but I'll try to try. It's not worth it. I don't need the health. At this point in time. Well, now they're just loading me with the health. Still good. Sitting pretty. Still good. What did the... Do I have wall climbing? Uh-huh. This is a little odd, the way they've done this. I just have to let go of the button? Hmm. I have a time limit! I don't know if I can do this. Alright, maybe that's what this is for. Not today, bird, bat. Alright, is this a boss? Can we do it? Ah, he got me, trying to go over him. Those sick evasive maneuvers. I like when a game makes you maneuverable. Hell yeah! 
Guys, I'm pro ace at this game. I'm going to Evo. I'm going to Evo for my Hagane skills. Wait, what did that say? That oh, Jesus. Am I still on stage one? This game's getting weird quick. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Well, if that's continue, game over. Guys, check out Hagane. Hagane? Hagane? It's not like I'm speaking German when I say the name of this game. Um, faded memories. No. No. Oh, no. Wait, we'll wait for that one. Wait, we need to amp it up, guys. Hell yeah! Oh, we got people in the chat. I sorry, uh, Twitch chat. Uh, want to become famous? Five followers? Oh, okay, I've been getting scammed. I do want to become famous. Click on big follows. Starcom. Get the hell out of my chat. Pounds of fools. It's fine. When you only have one person watching, your bottom bottom feeder for the bots. By the way, one person watching, whoever you are, appreciate you. Um, that's Hagane. Maybe we'll do one more game. One more game, and then we have to say goodbye. What do we got here? We did Hagane. Uh, the Jaguar games do not work. I did want to check out Bassmaster's Classic because it seems like a stupid game, but I'll spare you. Actually, no one gets spared. I'm thinking Lone Soldier was quite the game. Uh, and I say quite the game. Let's see what they have to say about Lone Soldier. By the way, okay, let's go back to the magazine. Uh, Power Instinct, Rise of the Robots. Can you believe Rise of the Robots is now on Super Nintendo and it's getting torn apart there as well? Did this game do anything right? Unbelievable. Jungle Strike. I remember renting it. Bassmasters. They don't appear to be super big fans of the Bassmaster. Uh, of course, I would love to have played Ultra Vortex. I can actually get Ultra Vortex to work. It's just so haggard that it's not even, not even fun to show you how bad it is. Uh, the Jaguar had a rough go. <clears throat> Very rough go. Here's an odd thing, though. Double Dragon, for Neo Geo, in this magazine, they're saying this is what it gets. You guys remember me playing it last stream? It was great! Wait, can I... There we go. 2.5 in graphics? This game has great graphics. Uh, sound, 2.5? I don't know much about that. Maybe it was good, bad. Control seems fine, but Fun Factor, 2.5. I had more fun playing that game than I had playing Fatal Fury 3. Which they gave... They gave... A 4.5 in fun. Like, I had a lot more fun. Uh, of course, they're still talking about Slam City with Scotty Pippen! Game Boy Football. You gotta be in a very special group to be playing on your Game Boy, but need, like, actual... Sim football! I ain't judging. And this is really sad, too. Guys, what the hell? A 2 in graphics. This game had fun, cartoony graphics. I don't know what they're looking for. Um, and a 3.5 in fun. Man, they must be regretting that. That's a very fun RPG. Um, we're basically flying through this. I would play some World Heroes Jet if you guys are interested in that. I've got Game Boy set up, ready to go. The fun thing is, like... Look at this, it's all chibi. Like chibi world heroes. They're all funny looking. But they had, I think, the whole game, the whole cast. They still don't give it a very good score. It's actually a pretty good fighting game on the Game Boy. I guess if you're in the chat, I won't play it. But if you're in the chat, this far in, and you're like, man, I wish he played that world heroes. Type it in, because then I'll know to play more handheld games. Until then, we'll just move along. 
I think we're done with Game Gear for the day. Yikes. Street Fighter, more Street Fighter the movie stuff. Better than I thought. I always thought it was just gonna be a really awful game, but ooh, look at Cammy. Hello. Kudos to you, Kylie Minogue, for getting in the gear, being a sport about it, making the game worth playing. Got some cheat, uh, cheats and tricks here. Uh, need for speed, blow up surrounding traffic. Oh my god. Oh my god. What does this say? Ah, Kylie Minogue. Funny, they actually reference that there. Reactions to the movie. Oh, funny. Why am I wearing a beret? Says Guile. Looks like I need a thigh master. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, because the Chun Li in the movie did not have booming thighs. Well, la di da. Sincerely, though, why am I wearing a beret? You remember when Guile in the movie pretends to be dead and lays in a morgue for approximately at least four hours, probably more, to surprise Chun Li when she comes snooping around? Very odd. I think that movie was also at the height of Jean-Claude Van Damme's uh, drug use, his pill popping. Um, so it's funny to watch because you can kind of tell the performance he's given is uh, it's a bit of a strange one. Of course, he seems like he's cleaned it up a lot over the years. Congratulations, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Sitting too low on the screen here. Hey. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Fixed it. I wanted to check this one out, but I didn't have time to confirm it. Shien's Revenge. Never heard of this, but it looks like maybe... Maybe it's like a... Uh, what is it? The Super Scope? It says... It doesn't say anything about Super Scope. So I can't confirm or deny. I like this, though. I wish we had time to do this. Barkley, shut up and jam too. Uh, code to play as all Barkleys. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. What do we got here? I'm gonna round it out with one more game, and it's gonna be a banger. Um, here we go. So they're showing like here overseas prospects. Um, including the overseas prospect, Lone Soldier. There's an entire blurb about this game in here. Let's read this blurb together. In the 32-bit tango, Sony Computer Entertainment uh, Europe had the East CTS show floor to itself because Sega opted to bus showgoers, showgoers to its nearby headquarters for the Saturn unveiling. SCE took the spotlight to announce its PlayStation launch for some time at the blah, blah, blah. Okay, they're not talking about it yet. Ocean Den, la 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 la. Then they say, tell Stars, a new company out to make a name for itself on the PC and PlayStation. Lone Soldier will star a heavily armed, rendered Rambo type character in an action adventure shoot a thon. You'll set off fireworks from behind and above the soldier as he attacks evil forces in a jungle, mid Middle Eastern city, and alien settlement. No wonder he's alone. Shots fired. Literally. We're gonna play this game, and you guys are going to sit there and watch it. Because it's a banger. Let's get pumped. Sufficiently pumped for Lone Soldier, of course. Um, what is this, on PlayStation? All right, all right, all right. This one I checked. I'm just gonna have to load up my uh, European PlayStation real quick. And let's dive right in to the magic. Close you. Open you. Games list is closing. E e yeah. I mean, if I own the actual disc, then there's no problem.
Hellstar, what are you doing to me? Here we go. Alright, I'm on board. I'm super pumped. Tempest Software. Where are they now? God damn! Hell yeah! Alright. I'm on board. I'm on board, guys. Let's save some lives. Let's save some lives and be a hero. First, we have to go by ourselves into the jungle with a gun. Alright? I just need to set the stage for you guys here. We're gonna go by ourselves. We are the lone soldier. Tailstar is ready to make a name for itself. Now, I don't profess to know how hard it was to develop for the Sony PlayStation at this time. But I wonder how this game would have landed if I'd played it at the time. I don't want to be a negative Nelly. I'm just being silly. They're going big here. Soundtrack is pretty big. Are you ready? Oh my god, I'm so ready. You're the lone soldier. You're the only one. You look just like everyone else, but it's up to you. Lone soldier. I just... I just... Brings a tear to your eye. Well, let's not look at his face. We didn't do the graphics for his face very well. Actually got kind of teary there. All right, it's time. It's time. Are you sufficiently pumped? I mean, did I do my job? Are you guys ready? Final game of the stream. Very weird choice to just go with a completely pencil drawn picture, but it's fine. It actually startled me. It's loud. Too loud. I got my finger on the trigger. I'll turn this game right down. You don't test me, man. Okay, so there should be some red flags already. That's fine. And here's what the game looks like. Only the best on this stream, everyone. So there's no button to stay in one direction while you strafe. So you have to basically aim at them like this. thinking Commando was an arcade game in the 80s and everyone liked it. What if we made it 3D? It would look like this, right? And by the way, that doesn't even look like my guy. Look at his hair's brown. The guy in the cutscene had blonde hair. So it is one of those games where you can just run past everyone. Which is what I'm going to elect to do. Rock. Rock. Can I change weapons here? Whoops, I'm stepping on landmines. That's obviously not what you want to do. Is there anything in here? Oh, I set that tent on fire. Whoopsies. Can I blow up this truck? No. Lone soldier versus a tank. Is that like a concession stand? Is that what I'm looking at? Oh, just in time. How dare you try and sell burritos to these guerrilla warriors. Oh, good thing I'm back at it. Oh, I'm back at it with a vengeance. Look at this sneaker hiding in a tree. No, 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 no. I don't know you're messing with me. Oh, no, it's the Maginot line. One weakness. Stand over to the side of it. We got him. This lone soldier is just crushing his mission. He's the best. Hit ratio, 81%. I'd say that's an S rank. You've crushed the enemy. You've driven them before you. See the excellence. Go to the next section. And hear the lamentation of the women. Ow. 
Lone soldier, what is best in life? You gotta running at your enemies in the straight lines. Shooting at those straight lines and throwing grenades in the water. Was he trying to melee me with his rocket launcher? This is a regular John Matrix here. You guys don't know who you're messing with. Whoops, you're gonna have to get a better arm than that. My arm is not in question. Oh, I can just hold the button down. Well, silly me. I'm just gonna go ahead and run past the enemies. Uh, they seem inconsequential. There's no consequence. I may be getting a few hits here and there, but... Uh, Flame thrower that you can't... Oh, square button changes my weapons. This is mayhem on a biblical level. Oh my lord. Level done. Job done. Our gallery reforces turning towards it. Back we go. I'm actually doing quite good. Speed run? Yes? No? No. Oh. Uh, that, that's about all I can handle. Is there a death animation? Oh, you have to hold the button down to throw it further. Can I run into the water? That would be a shame. Get his little cargo pants wet. Alright. It's actually pretty high. They're going for it. I've heard worse soundtrack. Damn. Baseline. But we can do better. Jesus. All right, everyone. That's the stream. We wrapped it up. It's another stream in the bag. Getting better at these. More high tech than ever. Uh, Twitch is number one most high tech streamer. Confirmed. Um, that's about it. We're going to wrap it up with uh, a nice smooth jam. This hectic jam we're listening to right now. Uh, where's the good the good smooth jams? Uh, this is not very smooth. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Girl, that's another stream in the bag. Let's quickly run through the rest of the magazine. Now, oh, Raven was another game we could have played. Grand Chaser. Of course, we played Virtual Highlight last week, and it was amazing. Um, Rise of the Robots in Arcade. I don't think actually came out. They probably... <laughs> Mirage must have just run out of money. Like, we can't afford to promote this game in this... anymore. Killer Instinct on Super Nintendo. Had it. Loved it. Good port, actually. We were gonna play some VR Troopers later. Didn't have time. It happens. We're gonna drink some Snapples later. Bally Blast. Spot goes to Hollywood. Looks pretty good on PlayStation. Didn't have time. Time runs out. You know? What can you do? Nothing can be done. We'll have to play Shred Fest at some point because it looks wild. Full of 90s attitude. Mega Man on Game Gear? Who knew? Who knew? That's it for this issue, everyone. 